tweet it out. I got a nice little gif. I'll uh, I'll retweet it. Brat Simpson. Perfect. The bootleg Bart who will eat your pant and then he will eat your ass. He doesn't just stop as the pant at the pant. That's the thing people don't realize about this motherfucker. He just keeps chewing. And you're like, whoa, man, hang out. Didn't sign up for that. That That's the best reason of all to keep your leg hair. <laughs> nobody I'm likes finding it. nobody likes finding hair in their food, right? Yeah, exactly. And then like it's it gets caught in his teeth and then he might recoil a moment. You might get a chance to get away. <laughs> but why anybody would want to escape that is beyond me. Mm -hmm. um, <laughs> so, yeah, OBS had a big update. It's there's all kinds of new weird things happening. Uh, expect some hiccups here and there in the broadcast tonight. And also, if you're watching on YouTube, uh, we're not editing this part out, so deal with this. Um, but thank you for watching on YouTube. Do appreciate that. Um, yeah. I'm joined, of course, by Fred Knudsen of uh, Rabbit Hole Man fame. Down the, Hello, uh, I, I am Frederick Rabbit Holman. Holman. Frederick Rabbit Holman. The name from the I, old country. It's actually quite a common uh, surname, I'm told. I, I I will never forget when I went to too many games and I kept getting stopped by people who were like, "Hey, you're Frederick Nud Nudson, Knudsen. You're, you're, I, alternatively, hey, you're the rabbit hole guy." And I'm like, "Yeah, sure." The rabbit hole man. Oh my goodness! It's like the ice cream man, but he just deals in rabbit holes. All kinds, not just like the holes that rabbits live in, but other kinds. Also, let's not do that. We also have Mal <laughs> here with us. Say hi, Mal. Hello. Joshua Hoppy Kids, fear back to the family, actual dad, fear back to the family, saying P. What a delightful resub message. Um, We're doing the bootleg thing again tonight. People uh, up? aren't familiar with that. It's uh, just... We, we, we look at bootlegs and we uh, just marvel at the, I guess, like the balls on people thinking that they can just get away with some of this stuff. But the thing is, they do get away with it. There, so who's the real hole in the end? So I gave myself a theme this time. Did you? Um, okay. As I did last time. So last time I did bootleg books um, and there actually weren't that many. A lot of them are Chinese. It's harder to get away with that in America. This time, I decided to go for the old classic of action figures. We've looked at a lot of action figures on this uh, on this bootleg, but the th the thing about that is, you never run out of those. You like, really don't. They are just churning them out like every day. Somebody's got a new awful idea to fucking outdo the last awful idea that they had in terms. Yeah, it's just it's a treasure trove. It really is. Um. I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if you've seen some of these, but I tried to go just deep enough that you might not have seen um, at least, like, the majority of them. No, I'm saying, no, I'm saying. I know what you're saying. Roro. Oh, you're an illustration student? Oh, so when you did the art, it was actually like you were studying? All right, I don't feel bad about that. Then, then do more art. Beautiful. That works out. Thank you for coming, by the way. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Um... The best, uh, what's up, Peen Crows? Frederick will show you the best Warrens around. That's like the educated person's, like, term for a rabbit hole, right? Um, so Warrens are a, so you know when, uh, a rabbit starts digging tunnels and it gets really complicated? Those are called Warrens. It's like a den. It's like, it's like an ant colony except furrier. Yeah. Right, um, right. I, I think, I think it actually applies to when multiple rabbits, like, link up their holes. <laughs> okay, let me rephrase that. <laughs> It's a whole network, right? It's sure. a network of, of holes, conjoined holes. <sighs> yeah, you gotta. You didn't network. think about that. Just you didn't no, think about that before you. I really, <laughs> yeah. I really did not. There's a bunch of rabbits and like you know um, suits and ties giving each other business cards and shit. Mm -hmm. Just networking I'm, their holes. See, like I'm I'm low energy today, but I feel like I feel like I have a different kind it, it's not that i'm less funny it's that i have a different kind of humor that's like what the fuck you did a lot less uh cocaine than you than last time i think is the problem yeah 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 a human centipede but with rabbits harris bow says so a rabbit centipede 
Oh, please don't do this tonight. <laughs> uh, Tuna Newt wants to know if your team score bunny. Did you see? I am. You are. I I, I I rather like score bunny. You have to be rab rabbit holes, rabbits, oh, rabbit hole. Not not actually like I'm not that big on rabbits for their own sake. But yeah, fuck rabbits. I like <laughs> no, they're they're cute fluffers, but. <laughs> And then, like, my association with owls was also an accident. Yeah, what happened with the owls? The owl association was supposed to be a pun, yeah, but so I Yeah, so I, I, I uploaded the first episode, and it accidentally got big onto, like, my personal YouTube channel that nobody was supposed to see. And it was an owl. Like, my icon was an owl. And I was like, well, I, I can't change it now. Fuck. I say you combine the rabbit and the owl. Maybe, like, a, you, you know, make your own Pokemon fucking owl with rabbit ears eldritch might abomination be a, might be a little terrifying I mean, do it in an anime style it'll be cool that actually that would make a really inter interesting premise you take a predator animal and a prey animal and combine them what does it do to itself Ooh. it eats itself fuck that's dark or it's like a jackalope but the thing about the jackalope <laughs> yeah the thing about the jackalope no, is they're both animals. animals they're yeah right um Hold on a minute. Guys, can you hear music before I forget? Like, can you hear, like, the lo-fi uh, beats to, to study and chill to, which is what I have on? Study and J-O, too. Study. <laughs> yeah. At the same time, simultaneously, not like you do one, then you do the other one. Frederick, yeah, yeah. why is your essay so crunchy? Wow, I was listening to some lo-fi beats. I don't know what to tell you. Right. It was the low vibrations. Getting graded on a curve here. I don't know what that has to do with J.O. Oh, no, the, the curve. The curve of the... Some 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 people got a curve. <laughs> I, I remember hearing the story of the porn star who had... Who had a penis that was so curved that people would refuse to do shoots with him. It was an obtuse angle, one might say? It was... It was... It was concave. Well, I'm going to throw a, a, a curveball at you here. A curveball. All right. And I'm going to request the first bootleg that you have on the on the menu here. Let's open up with Let's some hors d'oeuvres. Let's kick this off. So, um, th this is just a palate cleanser for you. Okay. Um, I, I discovered in, in the course of looking these up that the Mexicans have particularly good bootlegs. Okay. And so let's, let's kick it off with a Mexican bootleg. Batman bootleg. South of the, classic. South of the border bootlegs. I love it. Let's see what we got. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's oh, that's all kinds of fucking wrong. <laughs> how do you <laughs> How do you know There's a lot to parse? How do you know this is uh for Mexico? What was the uh what was the giveaway? Um, I just the description, but you can also sort of tell by the plastic. I feel like the the color selection tends to be a particular shade. Like, just by looking at a bootleg, sometimes you can tell it's Mexican. Now... They, they like a particular kind of plastic. All right. So, why... What do you think it is about these bootlegs not, like, labeling? Like, sometimes you see the bootlegs and it's like you look at the the packaging and there's a company associated with it, right? Or there's some lettering of some kind. But sometimes they have absolutely, absolutely nothing. Do you think part of that is, like, not, you know, trying to, like, avoid having people know where it came from? To avoid legal I, consequences? I don't think there's even that much thought put into it. Think about it. If you're making a bootleg, you're, you are trying to make something with the lowest effort possible. Any sort of graphic design that isn't just ripped from a comic or online is more work. <laughs> like, this... putting stuff on the box is work. See, I appreciate this, though, because at least, like, the fucking art that they did put on the top there is consistent with, like, whatever the fuck they did here. Yeah, it's like, it's like some, it's like Sonic recolors, but with Batman. They, they could have put, like, into you know, the Batman verse. It, it would have been, it would have been lazier, I think, to put a regular Batman up there, right? It, it, it would have. It's, what's on his, I, I guess that is a Batman symbol. I guess they just paint bucket tooled it. Was there any iteration of Batman where he had the bat on his chest and it actually said the fucking word Batman in, in, in the fucking bat, like inside the bat? Did that ever? I, I am inclined to say no. 
Check out the cape under his chin, where it's less like he's wearing a cape and more like he's like <laughs> about, about to eat lobster. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> no, that's, that's why his suit's red. He ate a lot of lobster. He fucking turned yeah. into one. Or is that like an orange? Or maybe he's like a flamingo. Flamingos are pink because they eat so much fruit. <laughs> yeah. yeah, right. Or he's flamingo just. Man. I mean, maybe in, in Mexico, it's like you can't like you can't wear. Like the heavy spandex shit, because it makes you sweat too much. He has a, has a strong sun down there. So maybe he just, maybe that's his flesh. And the Batman thing is a tattoo. Ooh. Because he's just yeah. running around, you know, he's trying to trying to stay cool while he's fighting crime down there. And he's just really sunburned. Like he just got really, oh, yeah. really fucking sunburned. Right? Yeah, yeah, totally. I mean, I mean, like I'm planning on getting um, a tattoo of a dildo across my chest that says Frederick on it. I support this like more than I can even put into words, by the way. Uh, excellent. Um, um, I, I I managed to get it uh, for five bucks. I know a really good guy. Place to do it for five bucks, yeah. I know a really good guy, by the way, who's like he's only makes dildo tattoos, and he's really fucking good at it. He put like three of them on my ass already. Oh, perfect. Yeah. You, like, are they like big glowing arrows? Maybe we should move like, on to the next. No, leg that's exact. That's exactly it. They're arrows. <laughs> They're fu they glow in the fucking dark, so in any situation, like they'll be able to find, to find the rabbit hole. You, you anyway, know, you know how you know how in a comedic duo, there's supposed to be like a foil. There's supposed to be there's the, supposed the, to be like a straight man, but like we're yeah, we're, we're, bo man. we're both so fucking gay, like it's just it, the thought of that is laughable. <laughs> Look at this face, though. Look at that mouth, though. <laughs> He looks like he just walked in on, like, his fucking son jerking off to, like, some fucking, like, weird, like, hentai porn, and he's really disappointed. Aggressive disappointment. Yeah. He's like, he's like, that's the face you see before, like, they just fucking shake their head back and forth really, really <laughs> fucking slowly and then walk out of the room without saying anything. Yeah, it, it's it, it's where they start questioning themselves. Like, he's questioning himself, <laughs> not his son. Like, what? Like, where did I go wrong? <laughs> 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 I, I I like what Calvin Wynn says. Frederick and Mike are both rabbit buddies having a crystal charge in the rabbit hole. Down in the rabbit hole. Gotta keep the lights on somehow. Yep. It it glows. I know it works because it glows. One of All the, right, you ready for one of the eyes is, is offset too? Yeah, this one's a <laughs> this this one's a real good fucking time, man. Uh it's it's a beautiful paint job. I like how they didn't go under the crotch. So it's like he's kind of just, yeah. just he's just wearing something like on the front, like he's wearing like a cod piece, but oh, like man, his fucking this is... paint and ass are completely exposed. I'm making a story for the painter of this Batman now. It's like maybe it's like a Catholic grandma trying to support her family, and she's like, "Oh, I, I'll paint the crotch, but I won't go for the taint." <laughs> it's like it's it goes against her Catholic ideals. She want right, so she knows that people are only gonna buy this if like you know they can they could do weird stuff with it. Or like they they want it to be partially nude at least, but mm -hmm. she had to cover up the junk. Like there's there's some lines she won't cross. Exactly. There's some <laughs> lines she won't cross. You're going in the cross. opposite way. Um, I really hate this man. And, oh, what? Like <laughs> like the blue color too. Blue and, and orange. Like Batman wears black because he's trying to be inconspicuous. He's trying to blend into the night and all that shit. Right. Right. right yeah. He's wearing, a, he's he's running around in fucking bright orange and baby blue. Kind of defeats the purpose a little bit. I I don't know. May, maybe he's trying to blend in at a fiesta. Like it's it's fucking neon. Okay, yeah. If they're doing it's, like uh, if it's some kind of party going on, maybe some kind of day of the dead or something. Maybe, I don't know. Maybe in 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 Mexico, like at nighttime, everything is just like orange and blue. I I don't know. I've only been there once. I was five years old. Maybe, maybe, the, de maybe the desert, like the desert, right? Like you're in the desert, you got your sand on the horizon and then a blue sky. So if he just stays on the horizon, you won't notice him. <laughs> you don't think, think he's a fucking mirage or some shit? See, see, like this makes me wonder. I think that they were trying to sell these in Mexico and they were trying to make him look like a Mexican wrestler. I think that's actually it's what they were trying a, to do. It's called for a luchador palette because exactly. luchadors do tend to be very, um, yeah, very garish, right? And like yeah. bright, brightly colored and like, oh, look at me, you know? So yeah, maybe it's that. That was just more appealing to a to maybe like yeah, like a Mexican kid, right? Like oh yeah, yeah. I want to see a fucking like really brightly colored Batman, but yeah, yeah exactly. It's a lot going on here. I I, I like the lore we've created for him. <laughs> <laughs> like, 
we Luchador we put more Lord. effort we put more effort into our background story for this Batman than the bootleggers did into the figure. Yeah, into you said into the Batverse. It's interesting because um, mm -hmm. there there's like uh like like Bat uh, Spider Men from like other countries and stuff in in the Spider Verse. Like there is right. I don't know. I don't know much about it. Um, I I still haven't seen it as Spider Verse. But this is like kind of a Batman, like, yeah, like a like Mexican Batman. Fuck it, why not? Yeah, dude, I I, I love eighty seven octane Lorchador. Lorchador, yeah. yeah I was I was trying to go for something like that, but it wasn't working. All right, good. What else all you right. got here? I got. All right, so the next one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh. eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen are part of a series. Uh, before um, before you before you do that, man, I wanted to show you just real quick. I wanted to show you okay, okay, um, some bootlegs that I that I saw recently. Oh shit! Um, yes, interesting. Really, really. Um, hold on a minute. Fuck, motherfucker. Really interesting. Um, actually, Pokemon bootlegs. I think you'll find them super interesting. Uh, if you just look Ooh. at, if you look at the uh, the. Twitch I'm channel looking at the stream, yeah. Yeah, um, you're gonna see these three designs that popped up recently. You'll notice that they are pretty much like, uh, very obviously ripoffs of of previous, um, you know, uh, official Pokemon designs. <laughs> um, you're not gonna see like. God damn it! God damn it, dude! You know, too much of a difference. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> I can't find the Chespin <laughs> art where he's in the exact same pose. But there's a fuck I, I saw this Twitch clip where somebody like found like official like um like art of, of Chespin where he's looks like identical to the to the fucking score bunny and it's like excuse me. Yeah. No, I'm kidding, of course. I don't um I don't I don't I don't hate these designs. I, I actually like them a lot, if I could be honest. But uh you know I got you know I gotta you know I gotta break their balls a little bit. You, you know you I gotta, gotta break. take the piss. Oh, it was it was Chimchar? Oh, it was the wrong. Yeah, right. It was the wrong Pokemon. Fuck Chimchar. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold on. Let's check check this out for a second. Yeah, I think the like Pokemon is now sort of stuck in their own style and they can't move outside of it. It's okay, you know, it's it's one of those things where it is it is what it is. I'm having a really ha a hard time getting this Chimchar art into uh into OBS. Um Yeah, it just does not want to fucking do this. This is uh infuriating. But uh I did find the art. I'll just put it into the put it into the chat there. If you click on that, you look at that picture of Chimchar. You'll be able to mm. see how he's in the exact same, the exact same fucking pose as the score bunny, and it, it, it's it's not a design thing. Obviously, it's kind of like an art direction thing, like just the idea that they put him in. The, I mean, it's a, you know, it's a it's a cute pose, whatever. Yeah, I'm Octane. Actually, I was I was having a lot of trouble finding images for this just now. It was like fucking. That's why it had to be low res. It was like just really fucking annoying. Um, what'd you say, Fred? I'm sorry. Oh, I I, I was just gonna say I I. I feel like the energies coming from the two different poses. I, I understand it's the same pose, right? Or it's a very similar pose. But I feel like the energies coming off of them are very different. Like right. Chimchar is very excited. Um, he he. It, it's like he's about to join a game of soccer or something. Mm -hmm. Score Bunny is like just he ecstasy. doesn't know what the fuck is happening. He's on ecstasy. But he yeah he's like <laughs> he's on ecstasy. He doesn't know what's happening. But goddamned if he's not gonna have a good time. Yeah, I appreciate that. Uh, you know, good moods are infectious. By the way, uh, Mal, thank you for um, putting those two images together. That was, like, fucking awesome. Because now everybody can easily see that. You see what I'm talking <laughs> about, Mal? That was just fucking just gorgeous. I wish I was paying more attention That's to good. the fucking to the, uh, Discord chat. But anyway. All right. Enough shitting All on right. Pokemon. All right. Here we go. You ready for the gauntlet? I'm ready. All right, here is our first of our 17 Star Wars bootleg action figures. In a galaxy far, far away a long time ago. Not that I long ago. I introduce to you. I introduce to you. <laughs> what the fuck? Dennis. <laughs> what do you mean, Dennis? <laughs> what do you... Wait, no, 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 no. This is ironic. This is... It's a... not... 
No, it, it's when you see the rest of them, Dennis. you will you will understand. Why, Dennis? <laughs> it's so so so. I when I saw this originally, I thought it was a gag, right? I, I thought it was of because course. there are a lot of fake bootlegs now. It's like bootleg bootlegs. Yeah, it's but, fun. But you look at the rest of them, and it's like, oh, like th there's there's this feeling that it's like, oh, no, this is too genuine. So. Uh, you, you'll see. I think you'll see what I mean as we continue down the line. <laughs> it's so. I mean, what you've got here is obviously, um, you know, uh, Darth Darth Maul. But you know, the race interesting. I I know this, and I only know this because I played Star Wars Galaxies for a little while. Yeah. Okay. Mom, like the, the I, I think that still might be going. I I think people might still be playing it, but haven't Star heard Wars anything Galaxies? about it in a long um, time. Yeah. I, I think no, that game's dead. It's totally um, dead. There are only there are only private servers now. They shut it down in 2012 to make room for the old republic. Oh, okay, okay. Um, I but, actually watched a video on that last night. Um, preparing for a new rabbit hole, perhaps? No, no, actually. So, Lamango's in chat and pointed out, uh, Dennis the Phantom Menace. Yes. So and it's the Phantom Dennis. It's 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 making it like even harder for me to believe that like this isn't ironic. But take a look. He's the point was he's a Zabrak, right? That's the that's the race. He's a Zabrak. Okay. And I think what it is is it's not the um, you know, the facial tattoos is like a rite of passage for them. Like I don't think they're born looking like that. Like I think it's one of those you get, when you come of age, like they put the tattoos on 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 your face type of thing, like the tribal uh -huh. shit. Um, yeah, yeah. But. This one, like, he doesn't have any of that. Like, he's just red. And instead of the horns, which is, like, they're born with the horns, the Zabrax, he's got, like... Nubbins. He's yeah, got, like, like glitter eye. Like, <laughs> yeah! Like, just, like, flesh... Flesh, uh... Giblets going on or something. Nipples, maybe, even? Perhaps this race I... lactates from the, from the head. Some blue milk going on, you know? Some of that blue, I... uh... Whatever that fucking thing was in the new movie. Brain oh, God. juice. <laughs> just, <laughs> yeah, just, just, it's a good thing that he wasn't current with Luke Skywalker. Imagine just like... Just... Sucking on them them nubbins. Also, he looks <laughs> very alarmed. Like, I, re I zoomed in there quite a bit, and his face is like... Just terror. Like, what's going on over there? <laughs> like, he's looking at he's... something... He's looking at something specific that's like causing him a great amount of concern. Um, I'm a little bit worried at what he might be looking at. Uh... So, so the Batman. So, if the Batman face was him walking on on his son, like jerking off to like hentai or something, uh -huh. and just having the aggressive disappointment. Yeah. What What is this dad doing? I think this is a dad who it's a it's a similar situation. Like he saw his son like jacking it to some like really niche like 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 fetish art, but the mm -hmm. the, the reason for his concern this time is that he's he just got like sexually like woke awoken by it. <laughs> he's like son. he's like wait a minute, whoa that's oh oh that's a thing, oh man oh what am I feeling right now? <laughs> like what like what is this and like he's trying to pull it off like you know like like son whatever's going on here is not okay but at the same time he kind of can't hide like how turned on he himself is mm. by by the art it's like i need the url so i can report it. it off of <laughs> our router yeah 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 i need to find like the uh whatever the ip so i can dns it or how, i don't i don't know how the internet works but yeah Mm. And then uh, I guess they just needed um, a name for this for this character, and uh, they dipped into like, you know, when you're writing, uh, doing some creative writing, and you're like, shit, I need a name for the character. What do you go look up on the internet? Baby names, D right? Baby names. Yeah. Like you, so you can look through and be like, find a name that suits the character. When you're making bootlegs and you can't use the official name of the character, I imagine they also use those websites. Baby name. So, upsets. so th this this is what really drives. Me. It just gets better as we go. Um, I saved my favorite for last. Okay, cool. Uh, His force but, was yeah, awakened, most Roro. The, <laughs> most of the names, almost all of the names, have been changed, and I you you judge for yourself. I'm pretty sure these are legit. Like I want to say that they're legit. Um. 
I'm here's, pretty sure that they are. Here's what I'm like, interested legit in. Legit bootlegs. They're saying that the figures talk, so these things have chips in them, and they they say things like when you press a button. What the yes. fuck? What is what is Dennis saying? What is he saying? He's saying I'm Batman. <laughs> yeah. You know what he says? He goes, "There's a snake in my boot." <laughs> There's a snake in my boot. Like I feel like I really need to know like what they what they put like what they put in there. Like what are these motherfuckers saying? I oh, I am really curious. Fuck, I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, like what is what is Dennis saying? Like what does Dennis have to talk about? I, I was I was distracted by the fact that like the lightsaber is just one big hunk of purple plastic. It's not even painted. <laughs> That's what your uh, your fucking dildo tattoo should look like, by the way. Just big purple, like. Yes, uh, with Frederick on the handle. Like just completely fucking <clears throat> like just just spear completely through like all your intestines. Why am I doing this? Just just what's show me the next bootleg. Like. All right, let let's keep going. We'll we'll keep rolling through these. Also, hi everyone in chat. People have been saying hi, and I totally have been neglecting that. People... Hi everyone. <laughs> I hope you are are all doing well. If people don't know, it's uh, Fre uh, Frederick Knudsen, the uh, the rabbit rabbit hole man, Holman. Frederick rabbit Holman. 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 Yes. Uh... <laughs> all right, ready for the next bootleg? It's all loaded up and ready to fire. Hit me with that shit. Just slap it, slap me right across the face with it as hard as you can. Right across the ass cheeks. There you go. <laughs> oh my! All right. So what we have here is. Not Obi Wan, but Toby One, right? And don't don't get him confused with uh, Toby Two, Toby Three. It's almost like they got confused, right? And they thought maybe like, oh yeah, you know the droids, like C Three Dash P O and R Two Dash D Two. Um, so they got, oh, maybe oh, it was. I can't wait! I can't wait to show you the horrific agglomeration that is the robot. Oh, you know what this is? They got confused. This is like that, um, you know, those cool, like, really delicious, like, triangle chocolates that you get in airports. Toby ones. Toby owns. You know, Toby owns. They're like, you, have... they get them in the duty-free shop. Yeah, yeah. No, I actually have a... <laughs> okay, don't judge me, but I have a single, like, triangle of it left on my desk. You don't want to eat it? I... It's been there. It's been available, and I've just never felt like eating it. You don't like Toby ones? No, I do. I've eaten the rest of it. That's why there's only one left, but I just can't get myself to eat the last one. Does chocolate go bad? Like, I don't know. What happens yeah, with chocolate? It, it can. takes a while. I'm concerned, man. I think you just need to fucking house that shit. Just do it right now. Do it live. Eat it? Just eat that shit. Oh, God. My, Give my, us some my chocolate ASMR. Get gummy. No. Yeah. yeah. Some gummy throat ASMR, dude. You know you wanna. Someone in chat's telling me to check my Twitter. They probably sent you a bootleg. Oh, okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. Oh, wait. No, I'm not. I'm not seeing anything. What's on my Twitter? I'm not seeing it. Gotta love that Jo position for the uh, for the lightsaber here on to Toby One. It's. It, it's perfect. It's it, it's like belly button. Fir firmly jab it into your belly button. Can I point out one last thing about Dennis, actually? Yeah. Because you, like, moved it. He's really well-dressed. It's like a nice teal dress shirt. <laughs> it looks like he's ready to go take someone out dinner and dancing. Yeah. Yeah, he's, uh, he's dressed to the nines. Or what dressed the to the fuck? Toby ones. To the ones... What's up with the ponytail? Am I seeing this wrong, or is it just like wrapped around his entire head? Yeah, it. it I, I think that that's a shadow, but that ponytail is just not doing him any. It's. It reminds me of that one guy who never bathed enough in high school. I'm sure everyone here has yeah. had that guy. I am that in guy. high school. I am. You that were guy. That... You were that guy. I was too busy it, playing they, they MMOs always... to bathe. Come on. <laughs> they. They always had that ponytail. They call it the rat tail. And it was, it was thin. Uh, I, I'm like rat tail. Sometimes it was a rat tail. Sometimes it was like really long and like wiry and spindly. 
delicious. It, and, and, and like, it looked like, you know how ponytails, they'll still look like hair if, if they're done right. Mm. There's just like, they would tie it up really tight so that it looked like fucking gross nylon rope. You know that they never fucking saw shampoo. Like, you could use it as nope. like a hemp substitute. Like, <laughs> this fucking, it That's looks Toby. like the, it looks like the beard is coming out of his neck. Like, it doesn't even look like it's coming from behind his, his head. Like, the ponytail. Yeah, the beard. It, See, I'm saying it's a beard because it doesn't look it, like a ponytail to me. It, it looks like he grew out one mutton chop. <laughs> yeah, just really long <laughs> one mutton chop and just kept shaving the other one. <laughs> also, he's got a little bit of weird, um... Yeah, like, uh, Oh, he's also dressed. Yeah. He's also dressed to impress. Look at those boots, baby. The yellow kind of looks like some hazmat shit. Like, he's about to fucking, uh... Go fucking in investigate some, uh... Like, Chernobyl or something somewhere. He's got to... <laughs> Put on a hazmat. There's a lot of fallout. Or he's going into the fucking upside down or some shit. I don't know. Great or it's, or it's, or it's piss. Up. You know who he, you know who he looks suit. like? The, uh... What does he look like? The man in the, in the, the, the hat. The yellow hat from fucking Curious George. He fucking does! <laughs> if, if he had, like, massive shoulders. Yeah. Oh, you're right. Like a God, really I... jacked man in the yellow hat. Without the hat, obviously. Man in the yellow singlet. Yeah. <laughs> why is the why does the music have like annoying talking in it? Fuck this. Goodbye. All right. What else you got? All right. Toby two. Here we go. Number th number three. There you go. <laughs> no way is this real. No way is this real. It's We'll keep going, and I, and I think as we go, you'll realize that they really were trying to avoid copyright. The Emperor Daft Serious. <laughs> what do you mean, Daft Serious, man? I'm not a hundred percent that. Oh, you Daft Cunt! Like, fake. <laughs> you fucking Daft Cunt. He's fucking Daft, all right. Oh my God. Yeah, they're very serious. Darth... So what's the... the I'm sorry. The, the name of the actual character is Darth Sidious? Oh, I think that... I, I think I may have been japed. I'm looking. Uh, Give me a moment. I'm reading. But this is like Senator Palpatine. Isn't that Senator Palpatine? What the fuck? Dark soulless eyes. Okay, no, so these are legit. The, these figures are actually legit. There are a lot out there that, like, aren't... Well, like, they're, like, bootleg bootlegs, like we were talking about earlier, but these are legit bootlegs. The Emperor Death the, these Series. These were discovered... These were these in particular were discovered by a blog called Wholesale Clearance UK. Okay. And they were found in the wild. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I do appreciate the choking hazard. It's almost like you think if they don't give a shit about copyright infringement and shit, uh, then they really wouldn't care if anybody fucking chokes to death on the toys, but it's there. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's like I, I don't know. Look at looking at Emperor Daft Sirius and the uh, and those hands, I would never want to put that in my mouth. He's got but, you know Yeah, he's got some real beefy hands there, huh? Where's oh, his yeah. lightsaber? This, I don't like, even he's got He's got fucking yaoi proportions. Yeah, he does. <laughs> but again, like, what character is this? It, it's Darth Sidious. It's Daft Serious. I, I know Darth it's Daft Siri Serious, Bass. but what, what are they... What are they bootlegging? Like, what character are they ripping off? It, it's I, Darth Sidious. There is a Darth Sidious, though. But who the fuck is Darth yes. Sidious? He, Why do I not remember the, this from the movies? He, he's the Emperor. So Palpatine is Darth Sidious. It's like the Palpatine same Palpatine is Darth Sidious. Oh, yes, who, okay. it, who becomes the Emperor uh, after he, like, declares, like... Uh, unlimited the... power! Right, right. Okay. Yes. Yes. But and damn. He, he's the main antagonist of um, the whole original trilogy. What the he's 66? The one the he's Order 66 guy. He is Order 66, yes. Yeah. Order 69! That's what he says because he talks. Order 69! Emperor Yowie hands. 
I really like how they Death always have serious. the same characters on the cardboard in, on each of these. It's always it's always Dennis and Padme. <laughs> yeah, it is. On each of them. Yeah, they really didn't give a shit. My god. Yeah, it, it's literally the lowest effort possible. All right, let's let's get daft serious right. here. What else you got? All right, let let's keep rolling. Um. <laughs> okay, okay. Here you have little girl. <laughs> Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> well, I think this uh, pretty much speaks for itself. There's that everybody's uh, favorite character, just as they remember them from the Star Wars prequels, uh, Little Girl. <laughs> I mean, I, I all right. So, so first of all, um, it, it's it's fucking like what was the fucking kid's name? It's Anakin. Yeah, but the fucking kid, like the actor, jo Haley jo Joel uh, Osment. Os What's the fucking? I do not know. Is it, is this like somebody like just was watched this movie maybe like five minutes of it like they like thought that that was a girl and then just fucking said this is a little girl? Yeah, I, I imagine that in the creation of bootlegs, like there's no love for the IP. You know that they watched I, I, I it feel like, like you, once. You almost have to have contempt for the IP to make bootlegs. <laughs> yeah, it kind of feels that way. And that backpack, so that backpack like loops around. Yeah, I, I guess. thought that that was one of the fuck like Sentinel reconnaissance droids that they sent to the fucking Tatooine in the beginning of the fucking movie. I didn't even think that that was a fucking backpack. That's what that is. That's a I, backpack. I, I thought it. I, that's what I thought it was too. I, I thought it was a droid, but I'm like, wait a minute. No droids look that look like that. And I think that those straps are like um, rubber, so that they can actually <laughs> the loop around. It? Uh, so it, it, it's, it's when he puts on his backpack and he walks away to be, go become a jetty. A, je <laughs> a jetty. <laughs> I want to say, Dick Fist, thank you for the resub. Prayer for back to the fam. Yeah, this is pod racing. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oof. That is a scene, though, right? He puts the backpack on and then starts walking into the, the fucking sunset or whatever. Some dumb shit. <laughs> when Shmi, like, lets him go fuck Shmi. Shmi. Right. Her, his fucking mom's name is Shmi. It. What a disgusting. What, what does that remind me of? That reminds me of something, and I'm trying to remember. Like, shh. Smee. Smee from um Peter Pan. I Smee. Oh, it's like the guy's assistant, like the fucking bad yeah. guy's like secondhand man in, in uh, Peter yeah, Pan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, what a fucking right. nightmare this is. We, I, I can just keep these rolling. By I like the, the way. I like the piss feet on little girl here. The. <laughs> You you know what that reminds me of? Though that reminds me of the wrappings in um, Mountain Blade. If anyone else here has played Mountain Blade, it looks a lot like the wrappings. The kid from the Sixth Sense is not the kid who played Anakin. Oh, they're very, they're definitely different. I can I can envision them. So who's the kid who played Anakin? What is the actor's name? <sighs> Hold on. Okay, Anakin Skywalker actor. Jake Lloyd. Jake Lloyd. Okay. Jake Lloyd. Haley Joel Osment. Yeah, here we go. Jake Matthew Lloyd. Mike has taken and that, that's his only role. 19 ever. L's in the last 10 minutes. What what is an L? Static, what are you talking about? Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> it was Macaulay Culkin. <laughs> Macaulay Culkin played Anakin. Of course. <laughs> Hey, Cohen. Fear back to the baby. Thank you for the resub. All right. Let's, uh, let's keep rolling here. All let's right. Shit, this shit train. I give you Conehead. <laughs> what the fuck is this? <laughs> so this is one of those things, like, I think I, I feel like I remember seeing this this character in, uh, in the Star Wars prequels, but I don't remember, like, what, like, who he was or anything. Like, who the fuck? He, he was the dude who was like, what about the droid attack on the Wookiees? He's a Jedi, and he was right? Like, All right? A Jedi? He's a, he's a Jedi? Yeah, he's a Jedi Master. He's like one of, he's on the council. He's one of the council, like and, that room. And he's like, everybody just sits in a big circle and like talks about their dreams and like they just lounges around on couches because that's 90% of, of, of those movies. It's just people like sitting on couches and like talking to each other about like, you know, their dreams and shit. 
See, I just wish it had been more coherent because I love space politics. But like, and like this guy seemed to have a, like a finger on the pulse of what was going <coughs> on. What's going on? He's like, you you may remember Conehead from such scenes as what about the droid attack on the Wookies and getting fucking shot. <laughs> like those those were his two duties. I mean, there was that '90s movie Coneheads. It was some kind of it was like a comedy thing where there were these aliens that had conical heads. It had like Dan Aykroyd in it. Um, mm. So I could see they looked like this. So I could see, you know, I could see where the bootlegger got got the idea to call the character Conehead, and I, I that also explains where George Lucas got the idea for the character. Yeah, I, I feel like we're <laughs> getting like in, in the creation of this character, we got a, a look into George Lucas's um, movie enjoyment, but we also get a peek into the life of the bootlegger. Yeah, it's interesting. Like, they're clearly familiar with the Coneheads. My qu right, yeah. And, I mean, that's kind of like an obscure, you know, fucking 90s thing, right? I mean, like, especially if you're... You know, I'm, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be surprised if I hear that somebody from, um, you know, uh, where, where could this bootleg have, have come from? Like, Ecuador or something. Or somewhere. Mm -hmm. Was aware of the existence of Coneheads. Yeah. You know, like, I don't, you know... Um, Another thing about this particular bootleg that's interesting to me is this character is kind of like very background and, and minimal. Like this is like a, it's a fucking like insignificant character. Like he's got like what, two yeah, lines of the entire fucking like prequels? Yeah, but the official yeah, figures definitely include him did, too. Did they? Like, did they? Th okay. There's an official figure of fucking everything, dude. That doesn't a surprise any me. Any yeah. possible minor background character. What, what did George Lucas say? Like, every frame has so much going <laughs> that's, on in it. Every frame is so <laughs> dense. But uh, to me, it's like if I'm making bootlegs, I'm going to I'm gonna want to, you know, I'm going to make bootlegs of the heavy hitters, right? Because to me, those are the sure. ones that are going to move, right? Yeah, it, it feels weird to be like, why would you bootleg droid attack on the Wookiees, man? Right? Like, I... I so odd to me. Also, he's rocking the Yowie hands as well. Oh, he, he fucking it. Like, the the bad fucking modeling. Um, what What is it? The... Uh, what do they call it? They put the molding. Terrible molding on all of these. I, I also like how his head makes him look like... A fucking wrinkled penor. Yeah, he, he's it's, got. That's it, what he's was, got some penis folds. He does have penis folds uh, on the dome up there, and also on his on his face. Yeah. Does the actual character yeah, he, have all the other uh, like the foreskin texture? I'm I'm not sure. Uh, hold on, let me Google. Or scrotal. It looks the droid attack on the Wookiees. It there looks it a little is. scrotal. Okay, like it could images. be could be scrotal. Yeah, I'm I'm looking. Oh, he totally he totally has the flaccid penis folds on his head. Squiggly back to the family. Glad I didn't disappoint you here tonight. Oh no, you're saying sooner or later that's gonna happen. I feel like that's happened to everybody else at this point. <laughs> yeah, it's I, I I feel like half the time in your chat it's like, and I came in on Mike yelling scrotum. Yeah, yeah, it's a pretty common occurrence. The probability is goats. very high, so yes. Um, also, God, Curry, Curry, really Curry makes... Hey, hey. Spider-Man I... from Miles' uh, universe, and Spider-Man says, fuck Staten Island. Uh, that doesn't surprise me. I, I'm i sorry, I'm, I'm a little distracted by, like, the loving care with which the makeup artist put all of those, like, penis folds into his head. Can I see the official, uh, like, yeah, the still from the movie? Uh, yeah, the, the problem is when he says that, it's a, um, it's a hologram, so it's not super obvious, but if, like, you should be able to see it pretty easy. So you Anyways. never see, you never see the character, like, in, in the flesh? Oh, uh, you do, you do, you definitely do, especially when he gets fucking shot. Uh, but there he is. I just sent you a link. Oh, uh, sorry, Maria Amino. Back to the family. Yeah, I'm, I'm missing a lot of the, a lot of the subs here, I apologize. Ah, damn. But, um... Yeah, he does. He's got it. He's got the ridges. Yeah. He's got the like, ridges. They're there. Let's see how close it is it's to the actual character, though. Does it have the beard? Let me. Let it me does look. have a beard, yeah. It 
does have okay it has it has like a fucking but you'll know easiest beard ever you'll notice that um the the uh, the facial hair on on the bootleg is actually much more uh well kempt it's more manicured mm. like the ironically enough it's the bootleg this time who's doing like the manscaping whereas the original character <laughs> is just kind of like fucking letting it do whatever it wants he doesn't give a shit like, the fuck a boot, like, he looks like he might be using, like, beard wax to keep that thing in, in, in line, you know? No, but, but you see, but you see, tending to a beard shows vanity, and that shows emotion. That, that's something the Jedi cannot have. Oh, dude, Lamango sent me a profile shot. Please, oh, really? please take, oh, a, fuck, take a look. Gimme. Like, please take a look. <laughs> take a look at that! Okay. Ooh. Dude! Oh, ribbed for her fucking pleasure. <laughs> yeah! Oh, I really don't like that, man. That is... That is not my favorite. Oh, what damn. About, what about the droid attack on my scalp? Oh, my fuck. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it reminds me of when HR uh, Geiger or Giger is, you know, doing his thing and he's he's going out of his way to make something look really fucking phallic. Yeah, it, it's like the bulb head and the... The, the the ridge on the front is, like, really suggestive. <laughs> yeah. They, they went as far to give him, like, liver spots on it, too. This this character, according to Murphy Sevic in the chat, this character has one really significant piece of lore from the movies. Really? It has been pointed out that he is the only Jedi Master allowed to fuck. Excuse me? Right, so the Jedi Council or whatever, they're supposed to be celibate, right? They're like priests sure, or yeah, some, yeah. some shit, whatever. But this guy gets a pass because... Uh, is, it, is it like a religious thing for him? Oh, it's because he is the last of his race, so the only way the race has the ability to uh, to propagate... He, he's like one of the last shots for the race to not like go extinct or whatever. Okay, yeah, I, I figured that that would be why... But, like, is that... That feels like a really... I feel like Star Wars lore is all over the place. It's like, sometimes it has some interesting ideas, but it's like space fantasy. So it's like science fantasies. And so you end up with this weird shit, and it's like, fuck, okay. He can, I guess, impregnate with the head. Like, maybe the head, like, the like the sack is located up in there. Like, that's you actually... jam it in. That's actually, like, his reproductive, like, uh, stuff going on so what you're saying what you're saying is the redness in his eyes is like a yeast infection <laughs> yeah his eyes are a little bit like yellow i was thinking he might be like you know just like 420 blazing it like that to me to me it just looks like he's fucking really really hits hits the bong like every opportunity he gets i well well here's the thing right it's like that just dries out your eyes the redness is like around his eyes like, like it's infected. Yeah, I don't know if uh, fucking Visine is going to be getting out of yeast infection. I don't think that works like that, you know? Nope. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> He's got a yeet infection. <laughs> oh, no. What else you got? All right. Yeah, let's keep this train rolling. Next up. Dry eyes. We have um, actually the star of a very recent and Oscar award winning movie. Queen. Okay. Don't stop me now, because I'm having a good time. Having a good time. With the yeast infection in my eyes. <laughs> so, it's uh, Queen Am Amygdala. Or <laughs> Queen, <laughs> Queen uh, Medulla Oblongata, or whatever the fuck uh, her name is, right? Um... And man, if she's not looking like real pasty, holy shit, what's what's going on there? You know what she reminds me of? You, you remember the uh, makeup gun from The Simpsons that Homer made? No. Mm. Oh, oh, that's that's a fucking great clip where he like he's a, he's an inventor for a little while and he creates a, a makeup like he puts makeup in a shotgun and then you fire it. <laughs> And, and he fires it on Marge, and it's just absolutely horrendous. And then she looks at it, and she's like, Homer, you have it set to whore. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they definitely, uh, they might have had it, like, set to clown for, for this one. Um, 
Holy shit. What the fuck? And what's with the head? Like, what is, like, the longing, upwards-looking expression? Like, she looks like she's about to cry. Oh, she looks like that one Jedi Master with, like, the absurdly long neck. And the the, the, the pistols are just bright the purple? Are, yeah, the weapons are always just one, like, clear plastic, and that's it. I don't know why, like, I... I my guess is that they just said, okay, make all the weapons clear because they're lightsabers. And then they forgot that some, <laughs> some of them were gonna gun. be. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, uh, they're laser pistols. See, she's not looking very regal here. In fact, she's the only one who kind of looks like you would expect them to in terms of the clothing. Mm hmm Well, I mean, the the Jedi, uh, they, they wear like brown robes typically, right? With the typically, robes, yeah. the robes of the order. And I mean, hold on. Did this fucking what was, what was this asshole wearing? What was the, what was Conehead wearing? None. Nah, like none of them have been wearing that that <laughs> rope. Yeah, it's like it's they're dressing like a mix. They're like, dressing like Buddhist greasers. <laughs> it's so true. Am I the only one who ever th who, who who thought that that wardrobe decision was really fucking lazy? I actually think that I, I actually just... think it was okay. Um, something that kind of irks me about like one of the new For Honor characters, like a Shaolin monk, is like he's all decked out and all this shit. When actual Shaolin monks are, they they dress very simply. So I don't mind the simple dress. I think that it works really well. I thought that in the fight scenes they looked really good. I guess it has a practical a, a practical purpose in in the sense that they're supposed to be living like lives of aestheticism or whatever. Like lives of like minim minimalistic kind of, I guess in a in a way like like a Buddhist monk would, right? Yeah, I I thought that it were it worked especially well against the backdrop of like the sort of decadent science fiction society. Yeah, all right. So I, I actually really like their clothing decision. And... and then like they they just kind of get rid of it for the bootlegs. Yeah, yeah, you might be turning me around on it, but I always say it's just like a brown robe. It's like, come on, we're in space, make it crazy. What are you doing? Well, I mean, like, it, it hel also helps the lightsaber stand out as a weapon. True, 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 true. It's it's the one piece of sophisticated technology that they use. And it's very ritualized. It's obvious that it's very ritualized. Um, What else you got for me? All right, let's keep moving. So, to follow up Queen, we have Glorious Star-Lord. <laughs> what are you talking about? Who the fuck is that? That is Emperor Palpatine again. <laughs> Wait a minute. So, the same, like, bootleggers, though, are putting out two versions of, of Palpatine. Yeah, sure. Like, I, I think that the official ones did that, too. It's just, in this case, he looks like he belongs in fucking Labyrinth or something. Yeah, I was, you know, I was, I was, I was just gonna fucking say, this is it, you fucking, like, stole my joke, because I was gonna say... <laughs> This is fuck. This is Palpatine's like weird phase when he was like doing a lot of cocaine, recorded a couple albums in Germany. You know when he mm. was just it's weird, ex really really weird experimental phase when, when he, he got really into David Bowie. Yeah, yeah you know, um, <laughs> looking for inspiration. He was just going out on stage in these big blue robe, like diamond fucking studded robes. Yeah, the robe the robe looks less textured and more like it had really bad acne as a kid. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it does. And what's with the staff, man? Like that's first that's the only weapon that's not purple. It looks like a fantasy star online weapon. It does. It, it absolutely that's so accurate. I mean, I only played one of those games, but from my limited knowledge of that, that is a hundred percent dead on. <laughs> Or a fucking or, or like a great regular person says Rem Lazar. It's like yes, it is. Oh, uh, what's the fucking word? <laughs> what's the fucking thing called? Uh, Sailor Moon, like or a Sailor Moon type of a, a weapon? No. Uh, yeah, it totally. Or like Card Captor Sakura. I don't know anything about that, but I I watched like five or six episodes when I was really little, but the art style stuck with me, and that looks like a Card Captor Sakura weapon. He also, to me, looks like, like he looks like De These Dennis staffs. Hopper. Dennis Hopper. <laughs> As like he looks, King Cooper in the Mario he, Brothers he, movie. He looks hypnotized. He's got a thousand yard stare. Absolutely. Oh my god, maybe that's why he's dressing up like a loony. Is because he got back from fucking, like, Vietnam. 
And he immediately... And, and he, like, he was one of those people that, that was told to go down into those tunnels. Yeah. Into um, the... Oh, what were they fucking... They were horrifying. The trap tunnels. And he came out and he just got really into LSD afterward. And this was like him in his 80s. In the 80s, in, right. In the 90s. Into, yeah. He went into like a glam rock phase. Like he got really... To deal with it, yeah. <laughs> Tunnel rats. Thank you. Thanks, this, guys. This thing has... This this character has like a fucking... The, the, the backstory we just made for him kicks the shit out of anything George Lucas came up with. Like, I don't care. <laughs> like, the bootleg backstory that we created for this bootleg glorious Star-Lord is leagues beyond whatever the fuck George and Lucas dreamed up for the actual fucking Darth Sidious. And I love this. I... You know, you know what it reminds me of that that whole backstory we made. It reminds me of like a friend that Lebowski, like the big Lebowski, might have, like somebody big, that he like drifted apart. Lebowski. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Someone he drifted so, apart from after knew. after the war. Exactly. Or, uh, but he he didn't go to war. In the movie. No, he, he didn't. He he was a conscientious objector. Weed. Conscientious objector. <laughs> All right, I'm I'm ready to keep going whenever you are. Yeah, yeah. Hit me. I someone pointed out that the folds on the sleeves actually look decent. Okay, here we go. Yeah, there was a I lot give of you. that. We'll, we'll give we'll give it to him. We'll give it to him. We'll get yeah. There there are some parts that are okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let you introduce this one. See, they got his outfit right. Again, though, it makes me feel like they're having a laugh. They're having a fucking laugh. <laughs> Mace you window. You say that now. I, I, the next one is not going to do me any favors for trying to convince you that they were earnest. Mace window. Jesus. I don't really have that much to say about the figure itself, though. I do. Like, Look into the okay. eyes. They're the windows I mean, to the soul. He looks pensive, sure, but the, the whole rest of it, it's like, I mean, yeah, he's got, he's got, you know, the penetrator. <laughs> yeah, he does. Dude, what's up with that robe not fitting on his body, though? Uh, yeah, I, it's kind of like hovering over his shoulder. That's a bit weird. Perhaps it's a Jedi mind trick. We'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Oh, yeah. Mace window. Trick, trick. Yeah, it's like here. Oh, like make make your body look bigger than it is, and then ooh. Actually, that sounds really cool. It's an intimidation that, that, tactic. That sounds. It's an intimidation. Well, no, it, tactic. it sounds like an an intimidation tactic, but also like to fuck people up when you're fighting them. It's like, oh, you think you hit me, but you didn't. Ooh. Well, remember how the fucking robe just oh. collapses to the floor in that movie, like when Obi Wan yes. dies and the fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I guess that was like to avoid having gore in the movie. Like, why did they do that? Was I never it? understood what the fuck that was. Well, I think the whole point was, like, he moved on to the next life. Yeah, but, you know, when they chopped like, fucking... When, uh, you know, Darth Maul got chopped in half, he didn't collapse in a fucking pile of clothes. He got chopped in half. I mean, as far as you know, his legs are still running around without his top half, and he's, <laughs> he's just, just crawling around it. Well, his he, top half. he actually did survive that, stupidly enough. And they gave him, like, fucking, like, droid legs or something, and he came back. It was in, like, the cartoon or some shit. I don't know. Extended nice. universe Good stuff. For him. Good for him. Yeah, he didn't die from that, but um, I guess that's why the robe didn't. Di well, again, that's that's a Sith Lord. I guess maybe they play by different rules than than the 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 Jedi. What'd you call it? Sick the Jedi is saying the Jedi. The, je the Jedi, yeah. Uh, the, the sick today is saying he died, quote unquote, like forty tiums. Forty tiums. I know you mean tiums. Forty tiums. Tiums. But yeah, I, uh, Mace Window, like, oh my god. Like, that has to be. Even if they are legitimate bootlegs, they have a, it, they they have a sense of humor. They gotta be having a giggle. They have a sense of yeah, humor. They, <laughs> I appreciate that. I, I think that they are having a giggle, at least. I mean, they definitely were with the next one, whenever you're ready. Hit me with it. All right. Again, I will let you introduce this one. There's a lot going on there. What are you about? <laughs> <laughs> hey gamers, <laughs> that's me, the Fright Slug. <laughs> I, 
<laughs> First of all, bad, bad, not slugs. Spam your gamer slugs, everyone. Like what? What are they? They they are like what the fuck is the Jar Jar? The Gungans? They're like lizard lizard the Gungans, men? Yeah. Like whatever. They're, they're, they're Gloober men. They're not slugs. I can tell you that. Like did, I, did anybody get slug from from the Gungans? Did anybody be like, oh, space slugs, cool? Anyone? Frogs, uh, maybe frogs. Me. Frogs. You know, I think the, they okay. were more frog people, especially. I'll give you like... this: the eyes are on stalks, right? Oh yeah, you're right. Uh, they're all, they are on stalks with a lot of them, so I guess they are kind of. But sluggy. that's 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 it. Like that's literally it. There's nothing else to lead you into into the slug zone. All right. <laughs> wow, slug my balls, man. They yeah, gave the, him like the... a fucking moo moo, like a very very like. <laughs> he looks like he's got a lot of extra room in there, actually. It, it, it looks like they ripped off, like, if, if they had made Pacha figures from the Emperor's New Groove, they just rip, <laughs> the, they rip his clothes off and put it onto Upright Slug. And it's he's got so his flat. Uh, his sun staff. It's crooked, and it's flat. It's... Now, Boss, what? Boss Ness is the character, if I'm not mistaken. That was his name, okay. Now... This bootleg does not have the eye stocks. No, Boss Nass does not have eye stocks. But Jar Jar does, so there's a little bit yes. of uh, dimorphism. May I think is the word in the in the uh, in the species? Maybe. I I think so. Yeah, because sexual dimorphism just uh, is a, is like differences in sexes into in the same species. But I, I think that dimorphism just means like variance. He could have. Um, he he does have the giblet. Like the really significant giblet, like going on, like that that double like neck thing happening, neck wobble action. But he's really, really unhappy, which I think is on par. You know that character always seemed to be in a really bad fucking mood, right? Hmm. I I mean, or am I wrong? If I if I was wearing like a fucking robe that was constantly just flat and hard like that. Yeah, oh, and if my feet fucking looked like that. Are his yeah. feet, like, just out, man? Are those toes? Oh. Uh, That's nasty. Delicious. Boss that... nasty, more like. A... It's like his pants are iridescent yellow, and his toes are, like... His feet remind me of the final fight with K. Rule from DK64. Okay, I don't... A little I bit. don't remember that. You have to, like, go into his shoes as Tiny, and I'm sure a lot of people had their sexual awakening in that <laughs> fight. But, man. He's an upright slug. He's, uh, you know, he's a, a an outstanding model citizen, you know? He's upright. He's an, up, an, up, an is, upright fella. Rizmix is saying, what if that is his skin color? It's like no, no. They're they're colored like maybe snot he's green. A, maybe he's a banana slug. <laughs> Fucking stupid. Bio three three three. I wonder what his feet smell like. Ha ha. Asking for a friend. Asking for a friend. Not for <laughs> myself. Never would do that. Cause that's weird. You're weird. <laughs> Why would we you can't think talk about that? kinks? We're gonna get called out. Yeah, as always. I I. Well, why can't I stop looking at the feet though? I you tell me. <laughs> Flaming hot Cheetos to cheat toes. <laughs> cheat oh god, we're moving on. All right, yeah, all we right. Got, we got to get away from this. Are are you ready? Quick bail. All right, we're bailing into the next one. You got the piece the resistance. I give you. I give you R two three P O. Oh, what a fucking mess. This is like, well, See, shit, we want to boo, like, both of those characters, but, uh, we don't have enough time. What do we do? I know, just mash them together. Usually, I, what makes me really uncomfortable is it, it looks like <laughs> the, the wires look like veins and arteries because yeah. they're blue and red. A lot of them are blue and red. Yeah. And it makes it look like someone just had their skin ripped off. It's an odd choice. It's an like odd choice. Like they're a goddamn rabbit. Yeah. But, uh, you know, it's got... The frame of C-3PO with some of the color palette, maybe, of, of R2-D2? Was, th was that what they were going for? Well, remember in the episode one, he had no shell. Right. That's right. 
He was like incomplete. He was exposed. Look at the mm. eyes, though. It, it, it's very, yeah, it's very human-y and like fleshly and, and just erotic, you know? Yeah, the first thing I go to are the cyborgs from Doctor Who. You know what this is reminding me of? Mm. Is the aliens from They Live, like the faces, when, when, when you look at them without the glasses? Um... Here, let me let me look it up real quick so I can see. Looks oh, like your head. Yeah. Looks like yeah. You look like your head fell in the cheese dip in 1972 or whatever the fuck he says. Yeah. No, I'm I'm I definitely see that. You look like your head fell in the cheese dip. Attack on Star Wars, maybe. R two three PO. Maybe it's their fucking offspring. Oh please no! I guess I guess he's sort of like, sort of suppository shaped or. Yeah. Looks like C three PO was a little bit more functional than he uh, led us to believe. <laughs> R two D two definitely I am has a fully, vibrate function. I am fully functional. Dude, uh. I'm pretty sure R two D 2s fucking like primary fucking like what is it? primary objective or whatever as a machine was like to be a pleasure model i mean you never know what he's saying like that's why he's uh, fucking saying anything that's why all these like women like kept him around them all, all the time you know because he was just filled with all like fucking all kinds of little oh you 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 remember the fucking scene where he sprays lubricant everywhere <laughs> yeah 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 and he had all these little gadgets, like these little phallic little tools and stuff that would pop out and, you know, had all these different, like, functions. Like, twist this, turn that, bop this, bop it, twist it. Oh, totally. Vibrate this. Uh, <laughs> unscrew that. Diddle this, diddle that. D yeah. Dude, he, was a, he was a fucking, like, diddling machine. Oh, he, like... That's what the D stood like, for. That's what the D stood for. Oh my god, he was a, he was a rolling plot device, wasn't he? <laughs> yeah. Wow. Okay, and and so like that sound effect was used in every single video game. I remember that Star sound Wars effect, ever. and the thing that always strikes me about it is how human it sounds. It kind of yeah, it's like, sort I, of unsettling, isn't it, it? It really is. It makes me feel like there's a like like a little person trapped inside of there, like just. Well, there is. Oh, there, so, there okay, was. Okay, okay, there yeah. Was, yeah. <laughs> when they were shooting it, there was, but I'm saying in universe. <laughs> I gotcha. All right, you ready to scoot on? Yeah. Well, let's, let's keep going through these, because I have a lot more after these Star Wars ones. Yeah, hit me. All right, let's go. Uh, the next one is surprise. Like, they didn't even fucking try. I figured they just gave up at this point. Oh. It's... Oh, but, fuck. This, this, this is the one that just, like, gets them fucking, land, lands them in jail. Cause, like, th this is what gets them to the fine. I mean, that's just Jar Jar Binks. And, Besides labeling it Star Wars. I mean, beyond... Oh, I did forget about that. <laughs> you know, I mean, you're, you know, usually it would be something like, you know, raw raw rats or something, like, you know, but... Raw rats. Excuse yeah, just... me, uh, waiter, my rat is uh, very undercooked. Uh, could I send it back to the kitchen? Please, maybe put it back on the grill for, for a few minutes. <laughs> and yeah, you can see his eye stalks. Uh, this, sir, this the is eye just... stalks are hardly shriveled. This, this is just Jar Jar Binks. Yeah, I there... don't know what the fuck his implement is. There, there's nothing... That, are, are, you, are you sure this isn't just, like, the official action figure? I'm pretty sure, considering, you know, the rest of the lineup. Upright slug. Maybe, like, it's an official action figure got mixed up with the bootlegs. Correct me if I'm wrong, but Jar Jar never actually wielded a weapon, did he? Uh, I remember he accidentally, like, killed a bunch of droids because he was, like, you know, being, being Jar Jar. And it was, like, a slapstick scene that everybody really hated. Where he just fucking kind of, like, he grabbed onto one of the droids that was malfunctioning and he... Like, got spun in a circle, and he used yeah, yeah. the damage to some of the other droids, and he was like, Misa did something! <laughs> I, I appreciate your, like, five-year-old style retelling of this scene. Because I don't know how else I can to explain, the whole thing. explain it. No, 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 that, that, that is the optimal way to explain that scene. 
And everybody, you know, was supposed to be like, ha 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 ha. And everybody was just like, oh. Yeah, who's, who's that uh, character in the new Deadpool movie? The Deadpool 2, who's like really lucky? Is her name Gambit or something? I did no, not no, no, see. No, not uh, Gambit. No, no, that's an X-Man. Um, oh, you mean, don't, don't oh mean Gambit, God, what's her name? Gambit, Someone help. The Domino. Th thank you, so 87 Octane. Yeah, Domino. It, he he's like Domino, but stupider. I don't know the, anything about that. And though. also, okay, so like Domino's superpower is she's lucky. That's her superpower. She like things just work out. Like the odds of probability are, are always in the character's favor. Yeah, like she she is a master marksman, not because she's a good shot, but because she's so lucky that she just kind of aims it in whatever she's shooting the general, general direction <laughs> and it hits. That's like a halfling aqueous ablution, high luck stat, like high base luck stat. Yeah, basic, like mega high. It, it's like Jar Jar Binks is like her, except way, less entertaining. Way more just fucking nauseating to behold. Infuriating. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, so, so um, Bernie Lomax is saying, is Jar Jar a janitor? And I was like, yeah, that's what I was thinking. It looks kind of like a, a broom. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's what, I mean... He's probably good for most of the time. Like, you know, you always got to figure with movies, they're only showing us the interesting parts of the characters' lives. They're not showing us what goes on, like, you know, in their day-to-day. -day. Like, you miss out. You know, you don't see... Uh, you don't see Jar Jar Binks, like, what he does when he's not on screen. Like, what's he doing? Probably sweeping up around the place. You know, maybe just sitting around, like, binging some Netflix shows. I, I mean, he's starting Oki Day with a brisky morning munching. A brisky morning munching. Mm -hmm. On some bush. Are you ready for the next one? Yeah, I'm sorry. It's just the music that I have like got really weird, and like the music video is like it's fucking it's weird. Are as you fuck. okay? Yeah, I'm fine. What else you got? <laughs> All right. Next up is not quite as bad either. It's pod race. Oh well, there is there is a theory. Um. That Jar Jar Binks was actually a Sith Lord. Was and was, the, was, I love that theory. Was, was undermining, um, <laughs> like, the, the Jedi the entire time. But canonically, mm. uh, right, he did become a senator. So yes. I think during, you know, in his downtime, uh, he was maybe brushing up on, I don't know, law? Like, he spent a lot of time studying law. Like, maybe went to school. But I don't see that character yeah. doing any of that, man. Like, I feel yeah. like that's a character where, or the type of person... Where, like, even though, you know, he really puts his mind to something, uh, he's just gonna fuck and fail anyway. Yeah, it's <laughs> like, like it's at what like, point did he gain the competence to become a senator? Like, a right. standing it's senator. Like, it's like sometimes really wanting something, it, 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 like, just, it just isn't enough, you know? But, uh, I mean, damn. That's like a fucking lot of responsibility being a senator. Like, that, that, he, that fucking moron got people to vote for him. Right, because this is a democratic fucking society. Well, no, he he, he was a stand-in for the person that was voted in, and then he like started a vote to give emergency powers to the chancellor. Aquius of she says, "I mean, have you seen our actual real-life senators?" Hey, yeah, I mean, a big foot erotica has a chance. Don't oh my fucking god, do, right. Do this. All right, so yeah, um, Pod Race Droid isn't that interesting, to be honest. Our next bootleg. Uh, wait a second. All right. Not a whole lot going on. I think him. they might have gave him, like, what do you call it? Honorary senator status, because he was just around for a lot of things. Maybe it's... D like, they just gave it to him, because it was like... I, as, like, a, maybe a goodwill thing for the Gungans, like, to improve, like, the relations between the, you know, the governments and shit. There is, that... is, oh my god, there is actually a fantastic right. Philip K. Dick story that kind of works this way, except with the President of the United States. Do go like, on. Oh, it is so funny. Um, and also, like, atrocious <laughs> and frustrating. So basically, um, the entire government is being run by a computer that can think incredibly quickly, and he instates new, like, bills and It's like things Fallout based uh, New on... Vegas. A little bit, yeah, where you have a robot in charge of everything, except he's, like, incredibly intelligent and not idealistic. He's just very functional. And he's basically made the office of the president useless, like, worthless. However, it's still there because there were unions put in place to make sure that people weren't completely taken out of the equation. And so this one random asshole just, like, the, the robot shuts down 
and so they need a human to take his place. And then there's just this random, like, union flunky that gets thrown into the seat of the president. But this dude suddenly decides, like, he just twiddles his thumbs. You like, presidents are known for, like, they can't leave the office ever. And he has to, like, they just twiddle their thumbs and don't do anything. And so he suddenly decides, you know what? This, like, the, this robot president is going to be repaired in a couple of weeks. And then I'm going to be taken out of office. Right. What if I just don't let him get prepared and I become president? <laughs> And he becomes this, like, horrific tyrant. <laughs> it's a fantastic story. It sounds like a lot of fun. Oh, Philip K. Dick is so cynical, and I love it. He also, he's the dude who wrote what uh, Blade Runner is adapted from, right? He, he Yeah, he wrote Do Android's Dream of Electric Sheep. He wrote, um, uh, he, he's wrote, he wrote uh, We Can Remember It For You Wholesale. He wrote uh, Minority Report. Right. He wrote... Um, we can remember it for uh, you wholesale was they they based a movie on that too right they adapted that they into did. something yeah yeah they did uh he wrote man in the high castle uh, he wrote um my favorite book a scanner darkly ah uh, i remember that got a film adaptation i, I saw it the did. movie it was it was it was weird yeah it was a good I movie I, I actually um, liked it i saw it once and i remember being like what did i just watch but um we're getting sidetracked <laughs> we someone need to look at the horrific face of pod race we could get sidetracked a little bit um, someone in chat right. said that pointed out that the Gungans hated Jar Jar. So what better way to get rid of this asshole than to give him a fucking high level position that's far away from their fucking home planet? Yeah, <laughs> just get him off fucking planet. Cause the fucking Senate is on like Coruscant or whatever, right? Coruscant, yeah. Cor Coruscant. C C Cor Coruscant. I'm just gonna call. I call it croissant, like you know, like a fucking <laughs> fr like a French pastry. Cause like I'm fucking. I don't. I don't want to know how to pronounce it. But yeah, pod race droid. What's going on there? That's from the. I remember the one with like the saucer head. Yeah, the one on the top left looks okay. Like if a little bit cheap. It's the one. On, it's one on the right that like is. Ooh, he's got. He he looks like one of those dogs, right? That's been <laughs> overbred, like the, one of the over purebred ones where the eyes oh, aren't looking in the same direction. God, yes. Oh no. Like a fucking like a. Great Dane or like an Afghan hound or something like just real lanky <laughs> motherfucker, um, like a pug, like just, dude, uh, definitely some uh, brachy brachycephalic uh, nasal passages happening for sure. <laughs> oh, dude, I don't remember this robot from the movies. Um, he does look like I, I remember I played the shit out of uh, Pod Racer okay. in like the N sixty four game, and I think that. It's kind of like a robot, but it's modeled off, um, what was it, Gazgano or something? There, there was a racer Gazgano? with four arms who had, like, a massive fucking pod. Oh, pod racer, or, in the movie, yeah, pod. in, the, in yeah. the movie, there was a fucking, like, a guy who was pod racing. He was, like, a bad guy, and he was, like, sabotaging yeah. the other race. That fucking asshole. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. That was Bob Skabulba. That, that was, was Bob Skabulba. No, no, no. That that was that was, that was Bob Scumbulbunt. Bob um, Scump Scump no, Bob Scump Bob Bell Bottoms. No, no, no. This was Skunk a different Bell person. Skump Bell Bottoms. This was just a ra random dude. Oh, was I right? Sick today. Was I right? Was I right? Did I call him the right name? He is Gazgano. Yeah, and he 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 doesn't cheat at all. He's just kind of a the he's just a regular old racer that fucking. Eats Someone it. in chat said he's the new arms character. It's a fucking Jo machine, is what it is. Sabulba, that was his name. That's who you were thinking. Bob Skabulba. Um, like, a AKA Foot Fetishist Stream. So I was uh, right, no, too. This is a different person. I was right, um, too. It, I just pronounced the, it wrong, but I was right. No, he's, he's, not the, he's not the person that, like, is being fucking mashed together with a robot. I feel like these bootleggers just had a lot of access to yellow paint because everything is, like, banana colored, like, in some capacity. I wonder, yeah. Yeah, I feel like that's one of the marks of, like, Mexican bootlegs. Are these also Mexican? I don't know if they're Mexican or not. I'm not sure. Um, actually, you know what? I don't think they're Mexican because later we see Padme, but she doesn't have an accent over the E. Wait a minute. Who the fuck is Padme? Oh. Wait, wait you're talking about uh, the the fucking the she's the queen. She's the, Queen Amidala. So they're right. So they they again made two two bootlegs for the same character again. Yes. Because we already had Queen. Um, yeah, we had Queen, and that like it, it's different forms of the character in different clothing. Uh, right. Yeah, she's the, on the box. In yeah. the case of Star yeah, Star Lord, 
he was, you know, he was like the emperor, like the public, like figure, and then but behind the scenes, he was that scumbag or whatever. Mm -hmm. He was daft serious. <laughs> Yellow plastic, weirdo shape, whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's definitely like the base an excess color of, of yellow plastic. Definitely, because all of these Mexicans... uh, bootlegs have had that color in, in some capacity, no? Yeah, uh, like the, I I don't know if that's just a basic color, a cheap color for plastic. Crossbone says you need to watch the movie again. I need to watch the prequels again. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> just read Dune. You'll be um, better off. I have. All right, I have read Dune. Well, I read, I read all of Dune. Did, you, did I ever tell you that? Oh, yeah. I read I, the whole series, too. I even read the fucking, um, the, uh, the, the Sons novels, the three, the three novels he did after Frank Herbert died. Oh, he's made way more than three at this point, dude. But to, to, for the, um, for the main Dune plotline. Oh, okay. Like, you know, he, he, how he had the three books where he was like, oh, I'm just going to finish what my dad started. <clears throat> yeah, yeah. And he kind of tried to close the whole series. <clears throat> I have no desire. Um, how have we not? Man, talked we're talking about, about good before? things, right? We, we're we supposed to be talking about, about bad things. My bad. <laughs> yeah, Dune's fantastic. Um, all right. yeah, we were also talking about Philip K. Dick. Yeah, yeah we got about, we got more droids. We need to talk like, about pain, painful boring. things that we hate, not cool good things that we love. What do you got? Yeah, exactly. So the next thing is is not nearly as interesting. I'm I'm adding it in for completion's sake. We'll look at the whole collection here. Sure. Yeah, yeah, totally. Uh, this one really, I I think this one's competent the attack robot which is actually called um like a combat droid just combat droid which actually is the, yeah. means the exact same thing as attack robot pretty much it's like yeah all right just I, uh headed, it looks... headed over to thesaurus.com to uh figure out the name for this one it works sure and he's got his hot glue guns there yeah they're they're beautiful i mean like the it looks good like i I think that it's easier to do robots a lot of the time, though, because they're all straight lines. Straight lines, angles, uh, the joints and shit. These droids yeah, were fucking annoying in those movies, though. But Roger, Roger. They yeah, wouldn't. They wouldn't, like, they wouldn't. They wouldn't say would, that. They wouldn't say who that. Would Come on. Program. Who would program them to do that? Like they had just a very, I don't know, annoying AI. Yeah, it's. A very like unbelievable AI, a very low low tier like just, you know, in a universe where people have inter fucking galactic travel and shit, you mm. know, and there's all kinds of um you know wondrous fucking, where, where you have the ability to make an AI that has the the, the intelligence of of like C three PO. You fucking you 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 make the AI for the for the combat droids like this, maybe they need the processing power for combat, but do you remember how bad they were at that too? Yeah, they they miss their shit all the time, and like their guns were too heavy for them. Oh, it was <laughs> like wait, like who is in charge of that shit? Like somebody needs to get fired. Now the droidicas, those were like fucking great, and then they just had these little things. Oh, it turns it's out just... that the, the um the person in charge of designing the uh, the co the combat droids was actually another AI with even worse AI. <laughs> Oh, but that means he's making better AI as it goes. They should just have these you'd battle think droids so. make new AI. You'd, you'd or maybe, think maybe that. those are the super. I, you know, I don't remember any bullshit coming from the super combat droids. Um, you remember though the 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 ones with the big old chests and no neck. I guess those were just like too expensive to like mass produce. No, but they did mass produce them. So well, why? I guess like the Trade Federation, like maybe they got more money as time went on. It, it could like, have, like, in-universe explanations. We are making too much sense of this. We're giving them too much credit <laughs> is what we're doing. We are giving them way too much credit. Let's 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 keep going. Metal Baiters I, I is give pointing you out that they were programmed to feel pain. <laughs> Meaning, what? like, remember when, like, they'd get shot and be like, Ow! It's a combat droid! Well, don't make them feel pain! Ow. They they should be, ouch. like, super soldiers, what? Right! I remember in Battlefront 2, they get shot and they'd be like, Ouch. <laughs> Here we go, pad me. Well, that's actually how it's spelt. I, it's supposed to have like an <laughs> accent face. over the E, but her fucking face. And what are her oh, accessories? What, what are her ex accessories? Ooh man. Is anyone? <laughs> are we getting... Looks oh, like so... she got looks she, like she got a beating with the wrong end of a uh, of a lightsaber, like the fuck, like the, like the hilt. <laughs> oh my god! You said it's a whore again. <laughs> 
the fuck? Ah, uh, she's just very confused. This Padme never has any idea where she is at any given time. Oh, she's dude. Look at her uh, right. Look at her right hand. Is she doing that, like that got him thing? <laughs> is she doing like the circle with her fucking forefinger and her and her thumb? It looks more like she's doing the shocker, <laughs> just with the resolution quality. Of the and image. what are the what are the things on the right? Yeah, that's what I, that's what I was saying. It's like, what are those? Does anyone does anyone in chat have any fucking idea? Borderlands shields, sleds. What the fuck are they? Like it's like sleds. Like if you're gonna go, like maybe maybe like you know scooting down some dunes on Tatooine or or whatever, but you put one under each knee, as opposed to having like one big sled for some reason. Do the scooters and fizz ed? <laughs> Their jetpack. Does she ever data pack? Wait, no, no, no. She wait. Does she use a jetpacks? People are saying jetpacks. When did, when did she use a jetpack? I don't remember. I just remember use. I remember her using a grappling hook, but that's it. Fuck. I don't. I don't know. All right, we got three more. We can. We can do this. All right. All right. Next up, we have Flygon Jin. <laughs> we have two more after this one. Hope you guys aren't looking for the flies, cause they're all gone. They got drunk I mean, on we gin. An, we're we having an insect apocalypse, aren't we? Your drug flies go home. Dude, like, isn't Fly gone a Pokemon? Yes, you're right. Game Buster. Thank you so much. Yeah, Fly gone was awesome. I loved Fly gone's design. There he is, Fly gone Jin. Where did you come from? Even... Where did you go? Where did you come from? Fly gone Joe. I'd like to point out that his fingers are already wearing away and he's not even out of the box. <laughs> Quality paint, man. Oh my god. Also, the inside of his robes are flesh toned. <gasps> oh, he's got the wizard sleeves. Like he does, and they are made of flesh. Dude. Oh my god. He is a grotesquerie. What? He is a grotesquerie. What if he's just never taken off his robes and his skin has started like, started to grow <laughs> into it? What if what if that what if they're very special robes that like their skin melds into? Cybernetic type Ooh. body horror shit. Ooh. Well the good thing about um Flygon Jin is uh he can also double like if um You know, you're doing like a last supper kind of a scene with action finger figures. You got it. You got a Jesus ready to go. Action fingers. Action want, fingers. Do yeah. My, do you want to see my action fingers? Oh yes, please. Mike. Oh yeah. Oh fuck yeah. <laughs> Probe my rabbit hole. Oh god. You started this. Wait a minute, dude. His fucking at... like shoulder joints are just. They got. No, look, look at look at the lower half of look, like look at his waist, like right away, right around where his penor is. Yeah, there's flesh tone paint there. Did the painter like drip some? I have a theory, Ooh. dude. I have a theory. I'm trying to see if they reused the mold for the body. Oh no, I don't think. It's actually, I don't think so. It's not looking like it, is it? No. I don't think they did. Hold on. Wait, did that? Wait, actually, look at the arms, the sleeves. The sleeves are the key. The sleeves are the key to all of this. We've never had a funnier character than the sleeves. I'm looking. Yeah, I'm, I'd I'm, say I'm, one twice. I'm, No, they were actually, like, making original molds for each and every fucking one of these. That is surprising to me, man. Yeah, usually they recycle. Yeah. Fuck. It's like, maybe if they had recycled them, they would have been able to put more effort into the individual fig figures. I mean, as far as what they were trying to accomplish here, it might have been the, go the good move. The smart move. Mm. All right, so you got one more, you said. I got two more. Um, The next one, 
isn't that huge. Although there is kind of a weird accessory that I'm not sure <laughs> oh, what I it forgot is. It this looks like a hunk there. of meat. You got meat? Wait, what? God damn it. I the face, I just clicked back to the stream. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I was going for. Yeast dies. All right, so now we got Naboo Pilot. Yeah. Um. Let's start with this. This character, he has a name, doesn't he? Isn't there like an official... Oh, I'm thinking like Biggs and Wedge. This is not Biggs or Wedge. This is like just some asshole, huh? Yeah, but like the face is really familiar. Colin Mokery? Hold on. Are you talking about um, the dude from Whose Line Is It Anyway? Yeah, it, yeah, it kind of does him. look like him. It's, that's him. Th there's someone else that's though him. that he reminds me of. That's him. I, I can't put my finger on it. That's absolutely him. Yeah, someone else said Frazier. I was thinking Frazier, too. You know what it is? I'm, I'm also feeling that. Like, there's somebody else that I can't... Like, he's got, like, one of those, like, uncanny, like, everyman faces. Or, like, so, not everyman, but many man faces, if you will. Uh, fuck. Yeah, there, there is somebody that I can't figure out. There absolutely is somebody I can't figure out. Yeah, it, that, that will drive me absolutely bonkers. All right, someone's saying John. What's Andy. up with the meat, man? Like, what's that no, meat that he's got me. on the right? That's what you were talking about, Exactly. Huh? That's what I was talking about. His it's meat like, accessory? I, I think it's supposed to be a helmet. Oh, it's his helmet. Yes, but why but is it, it Why is it flesh? Like, why is it a flesh helmet? <laughs> I, I, I don't know. Maybe The resolution, maybe it is okay. The resolution doesn't really give much. Oh, Fred. You know what that flesh What's reminds up? me of? Whatever happened to mm -hmm. that game Scorn that we were looking at that time? Um, that game is still in development. It should be releasing this year. No shit. I'm really looking forward to that, dude. That game is fucking great. Oh, fuck yeah. Not for everybody, though. Not for everybody. No, definitely not. Uh, you're going to stream it, though, right? I think I have to stream that. Yeah, it looks too interesting. Oh, fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. I'll have, like, fucking 10 people here, but it's going to be... Because <laughs> no one's going to want to look at that fucking <laughs> game, but... It'll be so much fun, I think. I can't fucking wait. It's an odd color right. choice for the jacket. It is. Yeah. I'm really glad that you hadn't seen these before, by the way. Yeah, none of them. None of. The, all right, so the, these were all new. Okay, I went. I went just deep enough to give you new feelings. Uh, I love experiencing new feelings with you, Fred. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Well, you ready for the finale? Piss gun. My my personal favorite. God. Of the whole series. Here you go. Oh yeah, this is the piece. <laughs> this is the piece. The resistance for sure. The resistance, yeah. <laughs> oh man, and I mean, here's the funny thing about it. I feel like that might be what, like, what a lot of people said when they first saw this character's design for the first yep. time. What? <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> A sentiment we're all sharing pretty heavily right now. <laughs> now, his wings are detachable. I'm yes. noticing. And they're textured. Um <coughs> Now, I can't remember, but in the in the in the movies, right, was his gunt that pronounced? Absolutely. It was. He's rocking yes. like that King, King K rule gunt. Oh, definitely. But why uh why does why is this like his upper body like dipped in uh red it it really is isn't that's it that's not what it's... he looks like though no like that no, that's his not coloration accurate. no he doesn't look like he's been sitting in the sun for three days just like but buried in sand like from the shoulders down yeah <laughs> what happened there he ran out of suntan lotion before he got to the uh, the neck in his face. The neck, yeah, yeah. He yeah. started with the belly, and then there was too much belly. Oh, I hate him so much. I I, I told you that I saw what, and my first thought was a Mega Man sprite comic, <laughs> which I still haven't seen. That I I I'll link it to you so you can check it out if you want. The comics are absolutely beautiful. There you go. If you if you want to take a peek see at some of the comics, it's 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 old um, 
like early 2010s anti humor. Oh, there's a lot to dig into here. Um, Vinny played uh like the video game of it. There's a video game of this forever ago. Oh, oh yeah. This is one of those things where it's like everybody has known about this forever, and I'm like jumping on the bandwagon like really late. Yeah, a little bit. Just like everything else <laughs> in my damn life, it, dude, dude, fucking look, you are better than I am in that regard. Hold on a minute. Um, you want to move on from Star Wars? Yes. Let's keep going. Um, the next category I have are wrestling bootlegs. Oh, fun. All right. Before we do that, though, do you think you guys could keep uh, the chat entertained while I do like a, like a one minute BRB here? The fact that you think I'm entertaining is your biggest mistake. <sighs> but you already made that mistake bringing me on. So, yeah, it'll be fine. Well, we're in too deep now. I'll be right back. <laughs> Let's go. This is kind of like an Ashens video, isn't it, Z uh, Zio Kim? There you go. It's... I, I, I always really enjoyed Ashens. I, I feel like we're Ashens, but with more references to, like, obscure classic sci-fi. Mal, are you there? Uh, yep. Yeah. Ah, oh, you exist! I'm pretty I quiet. I mean, to be fair, Mike and I have kind of been invading the space the whole time. That's the perfect way for it to. <laughs> I I hope I'm doing a decent job of the bootleggings. I actually we're not even halfway through all the bootlegs. We got to keep moving if we want to see all of them. I think so far the stuff you found is stuff I never even. And man, it's it's like a <laughs> it's like a beautiful dumpster that you dive into, and then there's another dumpster. But like it just keeps going. Dude, it's it's my fucking job. It's great work. <laughs> <laughs> I, I've got like two and a half years of experience digging into weird shit. I love I, it. I've, I've seen some some of the stuff that you dig up. It, it's amazing. That uh, that furry video is great. Oh, I'm so glad. Man, I like. I'm also learning more about. I, I remember more about Star Wars than I thought I did. I'm actually kind of, I'm not really proud of that. I never really was that into Star Wars, but I remember enjoying the prequels pretty much exclusively for the neat star, for the neat lightsaber fights and the space politics. I actually really like the space politics. I remember only I, liking the pod. Oh, I don't, I don't blame you. I'm yeah, back. Hey, what's up? I got back in time to, to hear you say you like the space politics of the Star Wars prequels. I, I wish that the space politics were better and that there was more going on. I wish that there was... I wish that, like, the plot was actually more affected by the policies that they were doing. Like, you know, the actions of the characters were affected by the decisions that the Senate was making, but it just wasn't. It was a little like, bit convoluted, too, wasn't it? Like, some of the fucking... It, it was... I still don't understand who all constituted the Trade Federation. If they just had a fucking map, right? Yeah. Like, here are the sectors that are allying themselves with the Trade Federation. And, like, here is why there's a trade war in the first place. You know, here here is why things are going, like, awry. And you just never get a good idea of it. And, and that means that the whole plot of the movie is so distant and weird. The problem is, um, nobody gave a shit. <laughs> yeah, but it's, it's like... They're making decisions that affect the whole galaxy. That'd be so easy to make people give a shit. Yeah. I don't know. That, that's my care. opinion, though. They did not give a fuck. It's all craft. And um, the craft was bad. So I needed to just eat a sausage because I was becoming hangry. The, um, what well, was was all of the homoerotic tension getting to you and you needed something. I needed something a, a sausage in my, phallic, fucking, in my yeah. fucking mouth, like, immediately. Like I Daddy, couldn't. Would fucking, you like some sausage? I couldn't wait till the end of the stream to have a fuck yeah something phallic like get, like it getting shoved down my throat. Mm hmm. Uh, do, do you you should have. He's like, up, did you hear uh, him? Picture just, of penis head man. Did you hear him? Now he goes. Mm hmm. <laughs> mm hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sausage. All right. What else you got? All right. Let's keep going. Ruin my up. fucking life, Daddy. 
All right, next up, th there's actually a lot less to talk about here, I think. I know I'm not super acquainted with wrestling, but these are some quality bootlegs, especially the faces. I don't know who these characters are. But you could tell that they're not official. <laughs> you can easily tell. You can tell. That they're not official. What might be fun is trying to guess who these people are. Make names for them. <laughs> God, I forgot how good the next one is. All right, so here we have a man... Uh, who's got, like, really misshapen uh, biceps. I don't think that's supposed to look like that. No, that's synth oil. And he, he's got an R on his crotch, and he's got R's uh, on his shins there. He's wearing red pants. The R stands for red. This is red, man. Red, um... Red, um... Red's... Red, red Riguez. Red's Mick, um... Riguez. I'm going. I'm going for Roach Rocket. Roach. <laughs> That's what I think the R stands for. Roach Rocket, Red. I'm the Roach. Rodriguez. The Red the isn't is it the nickname in quotation marks, right? Mm hmm. The R Roach for Red Rocket, Vox. or for Red Vox. He looks like he might have done some vocals for Blood Bagel. <laughs> actually, his face looks like he just listened to Blood Bagel. Actually, like it's just dis <laughs> like, like disgust. <laughs> Like he got a whiff like, of something off in the refrigerator, and he was like, "Oh man, now I'm not hot. This? I just lost my appetite." <laughs> he also looks like he might right. have some of that hair that you were talking about before, like the kid who never bathes. Oh yeah, it's like matted. It, it's like it, it's like pre um. Oh uh, what are the what are they called? Um. Uh, what what's that 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 hair where you like you don't wash it and you put glue in it? Um, it's the um dreadlocks. It's like pre dreadlocks, before formed into like like just dreadlocks. But yeah, it's one it's, it's one solid mess. Like it's not yeah dreads. it's like, it's yeah it's like they're beginning to amalgamate, but they just all kind of started combining. Fred, where is nipples? Ooh, that's a good question. Um. I, I like pin, pin the nipple on the roach rocket. That see, when you bought this, it came with a set. It came with like two nipples that like just attached to the body, and the game was like, yeah, to try to get oh. them on there blindfolded, right? Oh, and and the rubber too. I bet like the the rubber for the nipples would be higher quality than the plastic for the rest of the figure. No, I all, all goes in the nipples. You know what this is? Hmm. This is fucking. One of Team Rocket's secret weapons. Like, when they really, really, really need to get Pikachu and capture Pikachu, they're going to send out this motherfucker. They've been playing around up until this point. Like, they weren't really serious about getting Pikachu. But when the day when they really do need to get Pikachu, like it's life or death, they're going to get this guy out of uh, out of the reserves, the Team Rocket reserves. <laughs> and it's going to be serious. He'll just fucking chokeslam Pikachu. I mean, he'll try, but as we went over, like, those muscles... That's all synth oil. <laughs> like, there's no actual muscle here. there. Like, like the muscle has been displaced by the massive amount of synth oil. It's like silicone injection into him, right? Synth a oil? Little, yeah. Um, no, synth oil is um, or synthol. I think it's synth oil. Um, it's it, it's you add a little bit, you inject a little bit into your muscles to sort of encourage muscle growth. It's supposed to help you build. But like, there are some people who fucking like jams so much into them that it starts looking like muscles and that that's where all the really disgusting muscles come from that you see sometimes like or you like, see someone you're like fuck? oh that's not that, human what is that yeah, yeah. That, that's that's synth oil it's an item in the binding of isaac and it, it, is. it is spelled synth oil that's, how, that's the only reason i know that and i had no idea what synth oil was like i've been playing that game forever i didn't know what that was now i know what that what, what that what that is yeah i actually got to learn a little bit about um some of the steroids and stuff that uh muscle builders will take a lot of the time because i have a buddy who uh weight lifts and uses um that kind of stuff um really like, appropriately like he did he does a lot of research into do it like using it correctly and he he told he taught me about synth oil that's cool you ever like see him with without a shirt on and stuff Oh yeah, no, the dude's a fucking tank. You ever like he's like he's also a huge nerd. You ever ask you like oil him up? No, not yet. Um, we're, we're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> did, did did you did you ever like did you ever like oil him up like before a workout or or, or whatever? Did you ever do no, that? No, 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 not yet, not yet. We're uh, we're getting there. First, first, I oh yeah, see does if he? He'll, uh, if he'll let me shave him. 
<laughs> is he? <laughs> did he ever mention anything about Gorilla Mind Rush? No, he did not. No. Chat cannot figure out who this wrestler is supposed to be. It's okay. M maybe we'll get more luck with the next one. You ready? He might just be nobody. Like he's R man. He might. Like, he's yeah. just R. He's R man. Triple R. <laughs> I'm the triple R. The triple, like, triple R threat. dynasty. Yeah. It's what comes before the T of threat. Okay. Zio Kim says I'm creeping on my guests. Oh, Fred, I'm sorry I creeped on you. <laughs> What's this? Yeah. What is this? I, uh, what? Oh, what happened to this fucking guy? <laughs> what? It's. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> what are his abs? What? What the fuck muscle is that? Like boomerang thing that's under his pecs. I, I'm surprised that the first thing you went to were the abs. Cause what is that? It looks like alien anatomy. It does. It looks like he's been dissected, and it's like, this isn't human. Or it's a fuck, like, it's like a xenomorph or some shit, right? Like, just... Yeah. It's like, it looks like his his torso, it's like... So the pecs are the two eyes, <laughs> and that thing I was just talking about is a mustache, and then there's a little nose and lips underneath it. Oh my, he's like Krang. <laughs> he's Krang! <laughs> he's Krang! I, I, Krang that's taken over someone's body, as his face would suggest. Chad saying he has a fucking thorax. <laughs> is it St is, uh, is Steve Goldberg Lamango? <laughs> the face. The face. <laughs> oh, but yeah, the uh, <laughs> the main attraction Eternal here is pain. is the face. That is uh, yeah, that this this guy, this guy is in some significant pain. Where are his teeth? Exists. I. Oh, maybe that's why he's screaming in pain. I mean, if it's anything like, teeth. you know, like fucking Mickey Rourke in, in The Wrestler, like, you know, like they went, they went at it in like a fucking no holds barred, like, fuck, because don't forget, these guys are really beating the shit out of each other. You know, like, mm. like, like, sure, it's, you know, it's, it's not a quote unquote real fight, but they, they are fucking putting their bodies through some like immense physical trauma, like no question. Oh, um, yeah. And it's like somebody whacked him in the face with a fucking two by four and just like knocked all his teeth straight down his throat. And not only is it, it, it looks like there's blood in his mouth. Like his mouth is just filled with blood. All his teeth just got, got knocked straight down his throat. It's it, it, the, the first thing I go to is um, that seal, that subtitled seal. Uh. <laughs> Yeah, right, you know what? I buy I buy it's Goldberg because of the facial hair and the bald head. Yeah. <laughs> Queen of Waffles says he looks like Goatsy, but I thought nobody looked knew what Goatsy looked Oh the oh uh, oh 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 no. Oh Oh yeah, I now I get what you meant. Oh Yeah no. yeah. Oh. oh let's move on. Ugh, oh. I suddenly don't like this. Here's your next wrestler. We'll call him Silverberg. That's what we'll call him. Or, no, no, Bronzeberg. Bronzeberg. No, fuck that. What's, like, a really, really cheap, like, yeah, bootleg, like, precious metal? Uh, tin. Tin. Tinberg. Tinberg. <laughs> tin is an alloy, I thought. Oh, is it? Oh, you're right. Um... Ste Stefan Tinberg. <clears throat> well, it's, it's still a metal. It's just not an element. Uh, what do we get? True. Who the fuck is that? I think. <laughs> What's that? Wrestling oh, is, is action tin an figure. Element? Hold on. I thought tin was an tin, alloy. Tin is an element. It is um, number 50. 50 protons make tin. I remember there was a stream not too long ago where, um, where I said it was a bad idea to eat metal. Because we were talking about the guy who ate all the colloidal silver and it, it turned his skin blue and shit. And it also oh, yeah. like potentially killed him. And I was like, yeah, it seems like a real, like, really bad idea to, to eat metal like under any circumstance. It's like, and well, then, there are metal elements that we need, though. And, and then like the chat just dogpiled yeah. on me and called me a fucking yeah. moron and pointed out like every fucking instance of me being wrong about that. So, <laughs> you know, that's just part and parcel of streaming. It's like, you know, to be prepared yep. to fucking, you know, say something that's wrong and then have immediately... You know, an entire wall of people just, just reminding you of how stupid you are. Uh, well, I mean, I mean, like, 
I, I, I think that your point about not munching on cans is still valid, though. So we got wrestling action figure, and it says figurine de luthier, and I mean, that looks French to me, so we may have a uh, a bootleg from a French-speaking part of the world here? Maybe. Um, is what I'm going to assume. His now, nipples are hanging really now that, low. Now, the, the, thi the thing about that is, though, that, that may be like a photograph. Yeah. Meaning that, like, that there's somebody walk running around, like, with nipples that look like that. So that's not even... Unless that's art. Do your nips hang low? Do they... I think that's a photo. Wobble to and throw? To and fro? His neck. He, he, he looks... You Have you ever played Brutal Legend? No. Okay. So, the, okay. The joke I was going to make di didn't make sense. I'll make it for the chat. He looks like one of the headbangers. Because look at his fucking neck muscles. You bang your head a lot, you're going to build up, uh, I think, significant muscle there. I, well, yeah. Laura Bepp is here back to the family. Thank you. Oh, wait a minute. Look, Ploptypus is saying, actually, you were right. The things called iron and zinc in health are actually non-metallic compounds of those elements, not the oh. metal. Oh, Interesting. So they're in compounds, and then the body process. Okay. Where they're were you ions. that night when everybody was like shitting all over me? Like, <laughs> interesting. I'm I'm learning tonight. Uh, I'm demonstrating my minor Star Wars knowledge. I'm showing you nips. Like this has been a productive evening. How many years does it take for the Sarlacc to digest its prey? Wasn't Star it like? Didn't it keep its prey alive in its gut for, yeah. like, centuries? I think it's a thousand years, if I'm not mistaken. It takes a thousand Jesus. years for the Sarlacc to digest you. But it also, yeah, keeps you alive the entire time. Like, it eats yeah. so So you can feel, like, all the suffering of being digested in its stomach. But it's I like... I have, like... What? Oh, no, I was gonna say, like... I, like, I am anti... Like, I... Is there such a thing as, like, an anti-fetish? Because that's what, like, being eaten is. <laughs> like, people are into vor. It's like, I'm ant- Like, what's the opposite of a fetish? It's just- ugh. A phobia? Ugh. I, yeah, I guess. Maybe? Probably, like, I I hate it. I hate it. Like, the, the idea of being- Well, th think of it like this. Here, here's repulsion. what always- Aha. Uh -huh. The fucking- Ploptopus says it's called repulsion. Okay. The fucking Sarlacc- has this ability to do this for what like evolutionary advantage yeah it's like what at what point did like evolution decide that this was advantageous like i i need that in in fantasy like i need like again that's this, it, the, the thing that annoys me about that is the same thing that annoys me about fucking dragons with six limbs because why would it do that why why would it have the ability to keep somebody alive for a thousand years and it's you know what that means it's like oh shit if that thing can do that then we need to get some enzymes out of there so we can make, yeah. make some like life uh extending like drugs out of it or something but that's where yeah. my mind fucking goes yeah 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 that's but the, the science fantasy you can't i know let's, I'm look, let's look, to look just... at the figure yeah. Let's look at the fucking figure. We, we still got a fair bit to get through. We got to, like, roll through them. Now, I've heard of uh, wrestlers going into the ring with, you know, uh, right, baseball bats, like, wrapped in barbed wire. And you got your, your steel chairs. You know, you got your throwing thumbtacks on the fucking floor. Hitting people with ladders. Jumping off of ladders. Right? Um, what I've not seen or heard of is somebody bringing a fucking chainsaw into the ring. Because I feel like... Um, that would end badly. Bone saw is ready. <laughs> yeah. It's, but yeah, it's, I, I, okay, so you'll get a huge kick out of this. I found this in a blog post that was helping people discern official wrestling figures from uh, bootleg wrestling figures. And some of the tips were just like completely useless. Right, for these, this like, is for collectors, like people collect these. Yes, th this is for collectors. And one of them was, think of, like, look at what the wrestler's accessories are. Are they realistic? It's like, I, I mean, I guess you have a point. Well, hold, but... on, hold on. According to chat, there is a wrestler who exists who goes by the name of Chainsaw Charlie who brings a chainsaw into the ring. And I've uh, been... I... 
understand I do not judge anyone who enjoys wrestling. Like, I I understand the appeal. I absolutely do. It could be fun wrestling to watch, man. I've enjoyed really it. I've enjoyed fucking it. Fucking stupid. Of course, but the stupidity is part of what makes it fun. Is this Chainsaw Charlie? Well, what the fuck does he do with it, man? Okay. He's just wearing jeans. I'm... He's wearing jeans. Why is he wearing jeans? Is it just me or is he wearing pantyhose over his head? <gasps> I don't know. Maybe. Or is that just like how he looks? I've never seen a wrestler wear jeans before. <laughs> Somebody pointed out, it looks like a shitty texture. It looks like an N64 texture. His yeah. face. <laughs> it does. But what does he do with the chainsaw? He's obviously not attacking people with it. He'll fucking kill someone. So what's the point of it? What does he do? He uses it to remove his jeans, so which says. Uh. He just revs is... it up and looks menacing with it. All right. Well, I guess that's what this guy does. Um, and it, the name of this wrestler, in case you weren't paying attention, is Wrestling Action Figure. You know him, you love him. That's his name. He's, he's a quality guy. Can we he's take a, a stand-up dude? Can we take he's a look at his face? Integral part of his community. What's up with his face? <laughs> Again, he looks like he just fucking got a whiff Smelled of something, something real terrible. Rancid. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Or again, he listened to Blood Bagel. <laughs> Damn, bro, was that you? His face is, like, also shaped oddly. Like, he's got a bean head. He's got, like, a bean-shaped head. God, he does. It's like it's like his jaw is broken. <laughs> just permanently dangles <coughs> there. Did fuck di Disjointed from the rest of the skull. Flop. Yeah, just flopping around. around. Flopping around. And, the, and then gets caught in the teeth of his chainsaw. I really hate him so much. He also has tights like a fucking superhero. He does. Like, his proportions are wild, dude. Like, that's not... That's not something you'd wear in the in in a, in a wrestling match, no. Maybe like Big no. Show, but Big Show would just like have like half of his fucking like upper torso exposed. It was like well, a he... leotard that Big Sh Big Show wore. I, I would say, right? Like a leotard. Was it? I don't know. I haven't. I don't like know. a ripped leotard. Big Show. I don't. Big Show is maybe an exception, but uh... yeah. Thanks for wrestling action figure. I hate him. I I'm so glad. I I hope you're ready to be redeemed. I'm, re I'm ready to be redeemed. I like to point out that his waist doesn't look big enough to pass a shit. It doesn't. Compared to his shoulders. Also, what's standing? Right. What, what's what's the thing behind him? I I. You know, I'm it's willing a, to let it go. It looks like a, a radiator. A, a turnbuckle. I was I was, uh, was going to say it's a radiator. I was a say. radiator. I think it's just a fence. Comes with, chain action chainsaw and action radiator. Action. <laughs> Like, I don't Keep know warm fuck. during those cold winter months. Like, what the fuck is that? All right, let's move on. <laughs> I give you, I give you, Gulk Gogan. <laughs> yep. Yeah. Pretty obviously the Gulkster, huh? <laughs> there he is. <laughs> oh yeah, brother. Yes, sister. Now he says, oh no, sister! That's his catchphrase. <laughs> oh no, sister! Oh, doesn't, fucking... uh, doesn't, the, doesn't the bogan have like a like a bigger stash than that? Like, Oh, absolutely. He's got like a um, much bigger, like kind of a handlebar mustache. This guy's kind of just rocking like a, I don't know, like an accountant mustache. Like this is the guy who like does your taxes type of mustache. Yeah, he's like, I'll do anything for a dollar. Or that, or that guy. <laughs> In including filing your tax returns. Uh, it's got the big, big, uh, big golden bushy eyebrows. <laughs> this one feels. And the fuck, his body's got a raisin texture. It, it really does. It's very deep folds. The kinds of folds that would get like skin build up. <laughs> like, he could like hide drugs in them and shit. Oh yeah, totally. It's, it's like, like when. The dog breed. If Bulk Bogan actually looked like this, he could smuggle drugs into the... He could into smuggle the synth oil. The jail, yeah. I was going to say... Like for hard time. For when uh, he's doing hard time. The breed of dog, Sharpe. Oh. Like the fucking, like the really wrinkly dog. Like he's got that going on. A little bear, like a sphinx cat. Or he's like one of the California raisins as a human. Uh, Lamango says that that's just he, man. 
I don't yeah, remember. Yeah, right. He... No. Oh, fuck. I remember this. Okay. So way back when, I um I was watching Ashens and he pointed out that bootleggers would take molds of He-Man and reuse them over and over and over again and specifically you could tell because the right hand had fingers all together the left hand had spread fingers so is this guy this is ash is a youtuber who's like he makes videos about like collecting uh action figures or something or just like often like bootleg action figures okay or tat. He, he covers a lot of tat okay so you're right this is a ripoff he-man mold no shit so they that's reuse how the arms uh, yeah. but what about the mustache? Because the mustache is actually like, oh, it's just the head. Just the head is different. The whole head is different. Yeah, I, I, they, the they just head. use a different head. They just use a different head. Son of but a But they, they would do that bitch. all the time. They would do that all the time. They would use like body molds of He-Man figures and then just replace the head. Well, at least this one has nipples. Thank God. Right, the boot, <laughs> the, the thing that we're doing right now is a bootleg of Ashens. Right. Basically, yeah. Well, it's called the bootleg show for a reason. I mean, I mean, then again, I'm just like bootleg Ken Burns, so that's it's all it's all okay. Well, hey, here's the good news. I don't know who Ken Burns is, so if I ever find hey. out who he is, then Ken Burns is the bootleg of you. <laughs> Done. Good. All right, let's keep going. Uh, He's this got next a lot to one, cry about, Lamango. <laughs> this next one isn't is not a wrestling figure, but I think you'd appreciate how dummy thick he is. Oh, I sure will, Colonel. Oh, I sure will. <laughs> It's <laughs> all right. Um, Hectic <laughs> Hecticon. Uh, are you there in the codec? Hect Hecticon. Um, yeah, I sure do love furries. I need I need some help, Hect Hecticon. Uh, <laughs> I'm up against it. They've created a weapon to surpass Metal Sprocket. <laughs> <laughs> metal Sprocket. Ooh. Alloy sprocket. <laughs> uh, I I feel like it it really speaks for itself. What is? I don't know. I don't really know what we could say about this. Iron cog. Thank you, Lamango. A weapon to surpass iron cog. What is happening to him though? Can we talk about like what? It's it's the teeth. It's the teeth that really do it. It's always the face for me. What's going on there? What are those teeth? <laughs> like he's fucking oh. just like fighting through some serious pain, man. Like the nano machines had a malfunction of some kind. <laughs> oh no. He's fighting through some fucking like maybe something's just going up his butt. Like maybe it's that. Like it's for the good of America. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's the torture scene. Like fists clenched. He's like biting down on on something, like stealing himself against some kind of indescribable pain. The pain of being bootlegged. Maybe just being bootlegged like, hurts a yeah. lot. No gums and his nose is melting. Yeah. Yeah, like th there's no lips either. It's, no lips. No it's gums. like it all just got carved away. It's really eerie. Oh my god! Solid god. snake, more like solid stool. Cam wrong. <laughs> Thank you so much, Cam. What's up? It is upsetting, hey. Octane. It is. I wonder if um, they made his he... his ass like thick. We can't tell from this picture, but that's the that's the way to really tell if it's official or not. Like how well defined the ass crack is, and the cheeks. Oh yeah, and I don't have an image of it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> uh, we we can't tell how dummy thick he is. Nope. By the way, what is dummy thick? How is it regular? Th how is it different from regular thick? I I I'm not sure. Automatic it's... manic. Back, back to the family. Hey, thanks for supporting my boy. He's All constipated. Right. I... Ramco says he could be constipated. He ate too many uh, tree frogs. It's... <laughs> he he tried one too many things as a suppository to heal himself. All right, you're ready to keep going. Yeah, hit me. Now, this next, the next two images actually have um, an interesting story behind them. Okay. Uh, a little bit of extra info. I'll okay. go ahead and give it to you, and then I'll explain. Hmm. Ooh. 
Oh, <laughs> that. Okay. <laughs> All right. I. I like this. I like this. Is it Zach? I'm not sure. Looks like it I, might... I think no. It is. It is. It's it's Zach. It's I, supposed I know to be Zach. My yeah. only no, my only knowledge of the Final Fantasy series is from the Final Fantasy house. Okay. Like, but yes, I'm I'm pretty sure. Zach, Zach is like like, a, like, like a, oh, it's it's fucking cloud with black hair. That's that's it. So you guys, all you gotta know. <laughs> so the the check mark and the X really make this for me. But like the context is perhaps even better. There are um there are websites for official figures. Uh, that detail how to discern a an official figure from a bootleg figure. And some of the images are just golden. Because you get the comparison side by side. Oh, absolutely. It's just like, how, how would you... Because some of them, it's like, oh, there's subtle differences that would be very useful for a collector to watch out for. It's like, all right, look for these things. Well, then you get fucking this. Well, hang on, man. Because the one on the left... Melty mitts. The one on the left looks looks like it could be. If you told me that that was a bootleg, like I'd easily believe that. Like that that looks like that looks cheap. And oh weird. yeah, yeah, totally. It's like, and I mean, the quality on official stuff is not always great. No, I but I think you'd be able to at. tell the difference between him and oven mitts over there. <laughs> oven mitts. Yeah. Uh, you got the yeah, like the melting hands. Uh, the 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 fucking sword is completely completely melted. Oh, you you want to see a fucking sword? We're moving on to the next one right swords, now. Swords swords are supposed Let's to go. melt melt in your mouth, not in your hand. Maybe it's a Toblerone. But I'm not I'm not moving on without without looking at these eyes though, real quick. All right, we, we gotta like <laughs> we gotta take check out the, we gotta <laughs> check out check out those eyes. Look into my special eyes. It's like anime or nightmare. Anime <laughs> nightmare. I know. Sometimes it's really hard to tell the difference between those two things. Hold on. My brand. Oh, dude. <laughs> what happened? <laughs> what happened? What happened? The <laughs> the description really makes it for me on the next uh, on this next one. Looks like Sephiroth could use a little bit of uh, male enhancement. <laughs> Oh my goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I I the note. The note is just thank you. Thank you. I didn't notice. <laughs> What's the fucking the boner pill? What is it called? Viagra? Looks like uh, Sephiroth could do with the uh... Yeah, an election uh, an election lasting more than 4 hours. <laughs> Notice how this bootleg figure's sword is bent. As if we weren't going to see that, right? Like, the, the, <laughs> the, rhetoric, if... the rhetoric, too, is hilarious. It's like, he takes on this very scholarly rhetoric. It's like, by contrast, the authentic sword is straight and sturdy. Thanks! <laughs> I, this happens? This happens in actual um, fucking scholarly books, too, though. Like, they point out the obvious in the most verbose way possible, and it's like, shut the fuck up. Like you're you're just like you you're you're obviously not a writer and you're trying to sound writerly and I get it but just yeah I I, I can see it looks like fuckus it's okay you can just say that wait a second wait 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 I'm waiting his his face meets sir <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait a minute wait a minute wait hold on. It kind of looks like they 3D printed the model from like the original, from Wait the original second. game. Wait. Wait. Hold on. I'm waiting. Perfect. Sep, sep, septeroth, sep, sep, septic roth. I will call him septic, sep, sep, septic roth or sepsis roth. He really looks like a PS One render, <laughs> like the the model. 
He does. Who wore it better? Thanks, Henry. I want to know what happened to the sword. Like, did the sword, like, maybe when they first, like, sent them out from the factory, it was rigid. And then, like, maybe somebody, like, left them in the sun and, like, whatever material they made it out of, like, couldn't handle it. And it just drooped. It's a me it just yeah, drooped. Mexican bootleg. It just drooped. Got left in the desert. It just was like... The final curing process. Oh, what if... I, I wonder if this was unintentional. Like, they, um... When they were finally putting everything together, they took them out too early. And the rubber wasn't set. And so it just drooped. <laughs> Droopy sword. So good. Oh, All right, so fucking imagine like you go to fight Sephiroth in the final bout like that that thing where like you actually do have like a one-on-one -on -one. I think it's like at the end of the, the final boss fight or uh -huh. whatever and Sephiroth goes to attack you and it just like fuck whacks you with a noodle like a fucking pool noodle <laughs> Fucking this is the difference on the left you have Sephiroth full of raw Sephiroth and on the right you have Sephiroth al dente That is the difference <laughs> You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. <laughs> <laughs> oh, doctors hate him. <laughs> you want to be like... The, the guy on the left has purchased Gorilla Mind Rush. The guy on the right <laughs> has purchased our competitor's product. Or just purchase soy. Make up your own fucking minds. This and is your dick on soy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, let's. All right. <laughs> let's get so so. At, we got a couple without a theme. Uh, the the next couple of bootlegs don't have a theme, but I th I thought that they were worth putting in. Oh, I'll say so. I'll def I'll <laughs> definitely <laughs> say they were. <laughs> is there these are good. All right, so here you go. You got your three classic Marvel characters: a uh, Spider-Man. Um, uh, <laughs> it's like the Hulk, but it's, it's like it's... if if the Hulk, like you know, Lou Frigno or whatever, or what's the Bruce Banner, like he yeah. just turned green, but that was it. He, he like that was he it. Looks he he looks like an office worker full of rage. <laughs> he just turned Hulk green. hates W two forms. <laughs> he, doesn't, he doesn't expand like his muscles don't get bigger. He doesn't get taller. It's just not nothing happens, except he turns green and like gets annoyed. <laughs> mildly, mildly annoyed, like inconvenienced. Really, <laughs> people are saying Michael Scott dressed as the Hulk. <laughs> You, you know, back where I came from, they called me Michael the Hulk Scott. The Hulk Scott. That sounds like something he might it, actually it, it fucking say. It is something say. he would say. And also, his um, his uh, hands turn into Ninja Turtle hands. Oh my god. That's the, uh, that's the other thing Ninja that happens. It's a Ninja Turtle bootleg. Yeah. They already had the green plastic. Fuck it. Just paint some shitty looking G uh, shorts on there. Nice spot. And wow. And maybe change the head. And He's got the fucking knees. Ninja Turtle hands. So, someone in chat pointed out the knees. And the toes and the feet. Uh-huh. That's a Ninja oh Turtle, dude. God, it's a Ninja. It just is. <laughs> oh, my God. He's got those moose knuckle toes, Queen of Waffles. Ooh. And I like how the fucking, like, the, the, the shorts are part of his body there. God, yeah. They just painted shorts on, and then, like, the belt is growing out of his tailbone or something. <laughs> but he's got, he's got rips in it, though, you know, because he's edgy. Hey, yeah, they just did. They just scr they they're distressed. Hey, Mal, any requests? Yeah. Uh, for, for what kind of? Oh God, I don't even know. I'm 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 doing the uh the fucking what's it the, the uh KK uh slider meme. D <laughs> any requests? Lose the shorts. <laughs> Good. KK, his I, name is KK wow. Slider, right? Yes. I oh, can't. They're part of my body. I can't, it can't take them off. Excited for what? What's up? Are you, are you fucking excited? For, excited for the new Animal Crossing this year? Yeah. Fuck yeah. Love yes. Animal Crossing. Love me some Animal Crossing. Uh, it's like it's it's combination of nostalgic and comfy. It's like it's already comfy, but there's also the layer of nostalgia. I have a lot of. Did you play New Leaf? 
I the only Animal Crossing that I've played is the original for the game. Ah, too. okay. Okay. Um, yeah. And you just got you got a switch now, right? You said Yes, yeah. I got a switch. Yes. Yeah, so... um, and I just got Breath of the Wild. Nice. I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be playing it. I tried uh, right, right, I tried to get you into Splatoon a little bit. You weren't uh yeah. were, you've been playing it or what? Um not really. I've been I've been busy with other shit. Uh, you actually have like a life and stuff, huh? Yeah, I'm playing some For Honor too. That's been my thing. Um, I, I got the next bootleg primed and ready and fired off for you. But we didn't even look at at, ba ready. at Batman yet. Oh fuck! Yeah, you're right. We gotta look. We gotta look. Oh, the sticker. He's got shit on his fucking face. I think the plastic was just black and it got scraped off. Nah, it's shit. <laughs> okay. That's <laughs> no, literal shit. Shit face. I am the knight. I, I love. I love that his his bat symbol is on his belt and crooked. <laughs> What belt? What belt? Yeah, belt area. He's got... <laughs> I like that there's this whole extra area of the body to the, accommodate the, the, the leg joints. There's a six pack, and then they just abruptly stop. And then you have like six inches of, of just like just straight, like smooth plastic. What? Do you not have a scringle board? Oh, God, I wish I looked like that. Are you kidding me? I'm so fucking jealous. It, it, I wish it's, I had a scringle board. anatomy. Dude, like, Scringleport is in right now. <laughs> it's like, what kind of corset do you have to wear to get a Scringleport? Dude. <laughs> Look at this fucking shit. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> His hands. He looks like he's supposed to be gripping something, but they just, like... And he's hanging out with, uh, yeah. Teenage Mutant Ninja Hulk. <laughs> and uh, God, which, uh, so which, which Spider-Verse Spider-Man is this one? This is the one from the bootleg universe, right? God, what are there like gaps in his shoulders? Who? In Spider-Man. Look, there's like holes that go through his shoulders. There are. Oh, like you can make him into a necklace or something? Yeah, spider necklace. He's not usually this ja this like jacked, right? Spider Man, no. like he's more like no, wiry. No, he's and he's lean. Yeah, yeah, he's wiry. And he's very strong, but those are like, oh my fucking god, those are like Hulk arms or something. <laughs> Somebody did a little mix so and match Hulk, in here. Oh yeah, Hulk got the Ninja Turtle arms. Spider Man got the Hulk arms. Oh, and also he god. fell for that like you know black paint on the um on the binoculars gag <laughs> yeah he did sans undertale got him <laughs> god damn it and that fucking spider it's oh god all right yeah a little too much to eat oh we're going back to star wars here yeah we're we're going back dennis is to back past. De Dennis. Dennis has returned. <laughs> the face. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> that's my fucking jam, dude. He he looks Mexican. He looks like he has a Mexi mustache. Like, I'm ready for action. Like one of those. No, that's, like one of is those. Is that racist? Um, I think that's a little racist. I I think that like in in um, like TV Muy shows and, and and uh. Like movies and stuff, you would see a lot of like Hispanic characters represented with that that little like very thin mustache. The must, yeah, 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 yeah. Um, but the eyes though, what's up with those eyes? God. And the like, thing about that is that's not even supposed to be the fuck mustache. Like that's supposed to be the face tattoos. Yeah. Jesus fucking Christ. But it's just completely like two tone. It's like fucking he fuck passed out at a party. And somebody just drew a bunch of dicks on his face. Here, here, I'll uh, zoom back out. I want to see the whole figure again. <laughs> hey, hold on. This god, like... He's wearing a nice turtleneck, though. That's that's classy. He is. He stays warm. Christ. Like... The f he, at least he can hold the lightsaber in either hand. I was going to say he could give two HJs at the same time. <laughs> but that's the thing about this character. He had the double-edged and edged lightsaber. Like that was the thing about this character. Yeah, you're right. Where when all the nerds for the first time saw like the trailer and the co the like, character of, the, of Darth Maul was introduced, it was like, oh my god, he's got a double lightsaber. 
But this time, like, they didn't even give, they didn't even give it to him. Like, fuck you. He doesn't even get it. And it's green, not red. Like, his light, fuck lightsaber is supposed to be green. Sorry, it's supposed to be red, not green. <laughs> green is, like, Luke had the green one, right? He, he, he stole it from Toby One. Why is there a quarter in the, in the image? Uh, t for scale. For scale. That's because it's fucking, if you pay this for this action figure, you paid too much. Paid too much. Oh my god, All right, that fucking, ready? the fucking teeth, though. <laughs> the teeth. It's... <laughs> me gusta. And the Why does he look as... Help, help me out here. Why does he look Hispanic? I I, I, I feel like it, 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 there's a, a meme, or maybe like the me gusta meme or something. Yeah, it's but like that's not what the me gusta face looks like. I think it's I think it's just the black little like mustache. You're 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 right, and I I cannot tell you why. I do not know why. Yeah, but it's it's like there's more to it. That maybe it's the chin shape too. What the fuck was that TV show with the fucking? Ah, oh, not the fuck. <clears throat> Hold on a minute. Uh, Mucha Lucha? No, 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 no. Is that what no, I'm? No, 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 no. Hold on. I think I know why. I think I know why you might be thinking this. What the fuck? Uh... Yep, wait a second. The flea's liver. Wait a Oy, second. The flea's spleen. Wait okay. a second. Waiting. Rockin' brain. <laughs> the fucking yeah, the dad, two... like the dad from the Adams family. Mr. Munster? The Adams family. The Munster. See, you know, you wanna hear something? You wanna hear something fucking amazing? Hmm. I went to Google to find this image, and the first thing I typed in was was the monsters. Yeah. And I was like, "Well, that's wrong." No, it's the Adams family. No, but that that's that's totally like I'm I'm not seeing it. Well, it's got the mustache. He does. Gomez, Gomez <laughs> Adams. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's so like like if Gomez took meth <laughs> or did like a cocaine freeze <laughs> cocaine yeah it, it's his first hit of meth ever that's why his te that's why his teeth are so explains the, the eyes too um what about the penises on top of the head how are we explaining that i more head quits strong bed strong oh my god Jana that's said, what it fucking J is jana called it called him weak bed weak bed <laughs> weak good He's just fucking. I, I don't know if it's rage or if it's just if it's drugs. Something's going on here. All right, I'm re I'm ready to give you the next one. What do you got here? We got oh, some nice oh, Terminator. Oh we got my! Some nice Terminator bootlegs. Oh my! Hello. You you want to rip through these? Cause I've got quite a few more. Maybe, maybe we should just like accelerate. Well. Here's what we could do. Hmm. We could save him for next time. That's true. Because I've got some nice Pokemon bootlegs. I've got a Naruto statue. Oh, okay. That sounds like it should be its own thing. Fucking Pokemon yeah. and, and Naruto sounds like it should be its own thing. So so hold on to those. All right. But first... I want to... I, I, there's at least one I want to show you off of all of these, though. All right. Actually, two. They, okay. They're at le okay, actually, wait. No, three. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm clicking through them. I terminate and destroy really figures. Terminate and destroy figures. And there you go. You got not uh, Arnold. 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 Neg Arnold. Featuring moving arms and legs, twisting head and waist. And he's also armed with weapons. Um. Also, the Foosh hosted this image, I guess. Well, he's got... At some point. He's got ammo. I don't see a gun. Do you see a gun? Oh no! It, it it is. It's there. It's just kind of washed out. It's who is. It's who is the right. Oh, I thought. Oh, okay, I do. I do see it now. Yeah. Armed um, with weapon. Why do his arms look like? A, sorry, his legs just look like a fucking bunch of like rubber strands coiled together. Like what's going on there? That is just. Oof. It's it's impressive. Like they were going for muscle, but they just went for like body horror. Like I don't understand. It's it, it it kind of reminds me of uh fuck black Who's licorice black licorice feet? that too um, oh who the fuck could draw feet 
Who can draw feet? Um, Yo. I'm, I'm looking. It's um. Lamango just pointed something out, Fred. Take a look. Look at this. Look at the, the stream. Um. Uh, hold on. I right, let me look at. Oh, oh my God. The loin. Oh my God. <laughs> It's the same mold! Again. Is it? Again. Is it? It's close. It's really close if it's not the same. The loincloth. Oh, the loincloth. You're right. The chest looks really similar, but the loincloth is it almost exactly the same. Mm -hmm. Oh it, my god. It looks like Schwarzenegger's um, pecs don't have as many, like, fucking indents and shit. Like, weird indents. It's just turned. No, these are the same. Look at his face. Oh my... How did that ha I didn't mean to do that. He looks like a fucking Muppet, dude. <laughs> he does. <laughs> he also looks really sad. Like, what, what made the Terminator so sad? Like, what? Yeah, it's, he looks almost like it has the clown tear uh, because am, of the artifact. I am here to terminate happiness <laughs> and joy. For it was terminated for me. <laughs> My joy was terminated. Yeah, yeah it's, it's the like same figure. Does have a tear? It looks like I think it's just artificial. Birdie Lomax says he looks like Val Kilber. I see it. One of them is the Echo Fighter. To to the palette says. <laughs> Terminate change and destroy. Looks, dude. <clears throat> they, there's a price tag. How much were they charging? Eighteen thousand three hundred and forty nine dollars. <laughs> no, a hundred and eighty three dollars and forty nine cents. Somebody paid for the terminate and destroy action figure. With that, I wonder what denomination that is. I, I, how do we even begin to? Oh, I, I, I don't think it's a, I don't think it's a denomination. I think it's just a marking number. All right, you ready? Yeah, hit for this. Me. All right, all right. Just a few more. I really wanted to show you. Uh, this, which is definitely in uh, the style. Yeah, they want you to destroy the figurine, Poppy Puss. They are actively telling you to destroy it. <laughs> like, get it off <laughs> the And destroy figures. Like, get it off of the face of the planet. Wouldn't mind doing that to this one, either. Oh, it is. It is not good, is it? It The head. Like, I love how there is the, <laughs> the torso, the arms, the legs, and the head are very obviously all from different molds and made of different plastics. Fred! <laughs> the fucking hands! God the damn it. The fingers! Again! God damn it! It's just He-Man again! He's fucking striking again, dude! It's and just He-Man again. I don't know, man. What do you... The pec... Look at the pecs. Look at the pec ridges. It can't be... No, it can't... Oh no! Oh yeah! No, it's it's not. Oh yeah, it brother! The same mold. <laughs> it, no, it can't be the same. No, I don't think it's the. Oh, is it? The legs even. Oh, I don't have the bottom of this this uh, this image, but the legs, the dude. Look, look, look at like look at the torso, like right where the hips meet the waist. There's just nothing. Yeah, what is that? It, it's it's like they just kind of glued it on. And what the fuck is like that that fucking like ribbon he has wrapped around his penis? Like what's that about? What is that? It's because his penis won first prize. <laughs> what fucking ninja turtle was yellow? <laughs> I don't know. The ideal body static, you may not like it. <laughs> no, he takes those supplements. Was there a yellow like Oh, Chauncey, the, the Ninja Turtle, Chauncey? Right, so you had, like, Donatello, Raphael, um, Leonardo, uh, I'm forgetting one. Who's the other one? Donatello, uh, Donatello, Donatello, Raphael, um, Michelangelo. Michelangelo. Leonardo yeah, and, and Chauncey, right. The Chauncey. one who wears the, wears the yellow, yeah, the yellow, is, what, was Chauncey was like, a, like a Renaissance painter? No. That has to be a renaissance painter. Caravaggio. Caravaggio. There you go. And by the way, like, is there a shell? Is that what that fucking weird, like, neon yellow shit is in the back? I guess. It's a sad day for turtles. It's beautiful. It, it's an even worse day for the next bootleg. 
<laughs> I give you. Are you? Oh, you want to talk about? You want to talk about synth oil? <laughs> oh my God! This one I was really looking forward to showing you. <laughs> what the fuck? We're we're doing this one. <laughs> we're doing this one from the bottom up. <laughs> the feet. What is the like the fuck the the chrome paint that There's they used? A, yeah, I know, right? It's the the modeling is done with a fair bit of care, but like it's just all chrome. Like the paint like someone job. really they they really like the feet. And again with this fucking weird like leg muscle shit, it's like he's got a bunch of pythons in his fucking pants, dude. Like he's trying to smuggle fucking exotic pets across fucking state lines or some shit. What's really yeah, what's really cre <laughs> creepy to me is that the shorts are like you know whatever they are jorts they go down to his <laughs> the knees jorts, yeah. they they're loose on him and yet his muscles are accentuated on them <laughs> it makes no sense how it's like the shorts are just padded or something with where the muscles are like when it gets he? when it gets to the ankles he just stops having muscle completely it's like there was a story i saw recently of a guy who was trying to bring a snake like on an airplane so he could um yeah, I know, like the Samuel L. Jackson movie, I think, right? He was trying to bring um, some exotic pets to the to the U.S. to sell them from another from overseas, and he just stuffed them in his fucking pants. Yes, tried to go I remember this. And he just had a bunch of snakes like slithering around in his fucking pants. That's Wasn't this obviously a what's this going is, on here. This is Darwin Awards. It probably. I mean, come on. This sounds like Darwin Awards. If it wasn't, it should have been. Disappointingly small. Um, I was gonna say uh, abs, abs, but yeah. notice that like there's a good like just, just like a chunk of his body missing. God, there is. And it's just gone. It, it just for the disc. Like where's for, what? Do you not have a hip disc? <laughs> Anatomy 101. Yeah. <laughs> there, there are muscles in his fucking arms that just do not exist. No, that's the Rob Liefeld school of drawing muscles. I'm sorry, the what? The Rob Liefeld School of Drawing Muscles. Have you ever seen any Rob Liefeld drawings? I don't know who that is or what that is. Uh, let me show you. He's a comic artist. And, who boy, he has made some absolutely beautiful things. Let me see if I can show you uh, the way that he draws muscles. Uh, I'm, I'm going... He also has, like, terrible character design. Here we go. Um, like, look at the lat region. Like, what the fuck is going on there? What, what is that? Tumors? You know, he, he, here's an example of uh, Rob Liefeld's ugh, voice crack. Uh, drawing muscles. Working on it. Work, work, working on it. I, I... He... Uh... Just like, oh, they don't look muscular enough? Add muscles that don't exist. <laughs> it is that. Like, look at Deadpool. What is his arm? What is his arm? What is There's his neck? Just... I have s I have achieved such muscular superiority that there aren't <laughs> names for the muscles it's that so I have stupid. grown. It's so stupid. Oh. He also... Uh, he, I he hate telling me to show you... Uh, Lamango wants me to show you the Captain America one. Uh, yeah, sure. Here you go. Um, let me, let me see if I can find the whole thing. Uh, I, I'm just gonna... Skim through here. God, these are... I, oh, here we go, I found it. Um, I give you Rob Liefeld's Captain America. <laughs> it's stupid. <laughs> it's fucking stupid! <laughs> It's it's just Rob Liefeld Hulk. Why would he do this? Ew! It's really low res, so I'm not getting a lot it of it. It is, the, um... yeah. But I get me, the I get let, the let point. Let me see if I can get you a uh, better quality. What's happening? I don't think I can. What's happening? Like in his fucking like like around his head. It looks like fucking like acid burns or something, or like fire fucking like burn scars. It looks like burn scars. It doesn't look like muscle. I'm I'm surprised you didn't point out the floating face, right near his crotch. Oh, <laughs> what, what what is that? It's a face. Did he just fuck I, up? I I don't know if it's a character. 
Is it a character? Does anyone know? Oh, um, static. Ga uh, lem let me see. Someone linked. <laughs> someone linked a better version. I got oh, it. this Captain America. This is the one he wanted to show you. Yeah. yeah. Anatomy. 101. Yeah, for some reason, I'm not able to show this in OBS. Yeah, I I, I linked it to you. Yeah, I can't show that in, o in OBS for some reason. What if I... Oh, um, weird. Yeah. I'm going to use the thumbnail from Discord, so it's going to be really low res, but... God, it's... Incredible. <laughs> That's fucking chest! This looks like a fuck one of my like arc survival evolved like fucking like I'm I'm making a character to be an asshole. Like <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> like really oh, yeah, bad like I... monster factory. Like you gave somebody a fucking like a really really bad character designer in a video game and they fucking did this like to be like to to troll. You know what I mean? Like with the express yes. purpose of being an asshole. It it, <laughs> it looks like a joke. I I I love the way he's supposed to be in a profile. But his chest, like, the left side of his chest comes out so much farther than the right side of his chest. This is just bad art. Like, I'm sorry. Like, like I don't want to like, fucking, just... like, shit on, on, on fucking, like, you know, like, somebody's art and everything. Like, I hate doing that. But why do I see his, the like, left peck? When it's a profile, yeah. Imagine if this man were to turn to face you. Like, imagine what his like, chest would look like. Just the, he the right, like, half of his body would be <laughs> bigger than the fucking left half. He would... You could... We could have, like, it's a like, picnic. It's like it, we could have a picnic like on top of his pecs. <laughs> like, we could put down a blanket and, like, you know, like, have, like, drink some, like, lemonade. Like, place them down so they don't... They wouldn't spill. And just sit there and, like, just have a picnic. Eat some sandwiches. It's not a tumor. This is fucking body horror. Like, this is grotesque. I hate it. It is. It's it, it's like MC Escher's rendition of Captain like, America. Of, of, like, what a human body is supposed to be. What's wrong with his face, too? It's it's like, no, you, you, you know what this, you know what this drawing reminds me of? It reminds me of the, like, one of my favorite paintings ever, Nude Descending a Staircase. Have you ever seen that painting? From MC it's Escher? Not, it, it, no, um... Well, it has staircase in it, yeah. so I assume it's an Escher drawing like the guy oh, it, it's not the guy only knew how to draw staircases no no it, it, it's marcel duchamp du uh here i'll show you duchamp um, show me the duchamp. duchamp i'll show you the duchamp d d diggity diggity duchamp that's why okay, in, Chi go. in china soy which they call him um captain big tits here we go so so remember that captain big tits <laughs> <laughs> remember that mel <laughs> oh my god Okay, so this is Duchamp. This, this is Duchamp. Yeah, he um, d double champ. So I see why they call the, him the, the champ. Concept, this is why they the call him the champ. The concept is you're, y yeah, you're seeing someone descending a staircase at every moment of their descent. Well, that's a mind fuck. Right, so it's almost it's almost like four dimensional, four, a four dimensional sort of look at them. Like you're seeing their whole body at every point in time. Right, right, right. Yeah, that's that's kind of that's that's kind of what I get and what uh, an interpretation of it. That's what's going on with Captain America. It's like I'm seeing his whole body at once in different like phases of movement. Like he at yeah. one point was turned more towards our perspective, but they kept <laughs> that part of it as he continued to move to the left. Oh, I fucking hate this. <laughs> <laughs> this gives like it's it's on on attainable like body goals for people and sh it's like shit like that you know like oh i'll never look like this fucking guy's drawings of captain america oh no yeah <laughs> better do more synth oil until i do <laughs> it's gotta beef up the left side i fuck this is just grotesque anyway so, so that's you said extra muscles and that's what i went to muscles that don't exist I'm not and gonna. Then... I'm not gonna neglect looking at this this face though. <laughs> oh, no, that that's what I really wanted to show you. He's uh, in dire need of some like bridge work, I think. Maybe some braces. He's... It's it's like it's like some of the teeth have fallen out. Is that what got it is? Bigger and then got shaved in. And I then don't... his and then his just gums receded like into his fucking skull, and then this happens. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is uh. <laughs> That is some interesting shit, man. Those teeth. 
Arr, it's... Hulk angry. Hulk have too many cavities. They're Arr. just painted on. They're just painted on with white paint. But like, why not paint on the rest of them? Like, why? <laughs> like, why only paint on half of them? Well, I mean, the teeth, the teeth that he does have, like, looks like he's been taking really good care of them. They're very white. Like, he's been he's been brushing like two, three times a day, flossing. He's at, at what is left of his teeth are well cared for. At least the ones he does have, yeah. Um, so you ready to wrap it up here, Fred? Um, I got two more that I want to show you. All right, hit um, me. I really want to show you the Naruto, and I really want to show you one other very, very special bootleg. All right. So here's the Naruto. Is He's quite happy with himself. Oh, you got this from uh, Jed's Island Resort. I did, yeah. Uh, I think it's I the only one that I got from there. I remember seeing this. Bob go to or beat did the, I... Bob go to beat the broke I blo actually, I the think I found it. I, oh, wait, no, it wasn't. Uh, that wasn't this. What's Jed's Island Resort? Hold Everybody's on. favorite knucklehead ninja. He really looks like he's getting up to some mischief here. And what's that? The uh, Rasengan? What's the one with the with the? There's Sharingan. Rasen. The Rasengan was um like with Hinata. But I'm gonna beat the Bukaki. The Bukaki. He makes like an energy ball. Like that. I'm pretty sure that's the position he's in when he makes the uh. Yeah. He, it it looks Dragon Ball Z. -y. Dragon Ball Z. -y. Snackalope isn't convinced that this this is not Johnny Test. <laughs> God damn it. Fucking is. Look at that face, though. <laughs> He's hiding. How do arms work? It's like there's technically nothing wrong with them, but there is something wrong with them, if that makes sense. Well, like, look at the paint on the hands, too. Yeah, a lot of bleeding going on here. It goes... Ugh. It's making my fucking eyes bleed, is what it's doing. He looks like someone in chat, uh, Van was it Vanilla Moose, said he looks like from a motion capture movie. He looks like an actor whose name I actually know this time. Really? Wh wh who's the actor? I'm getting him. Okay, okay. I thought you were just like, are you just going to leave me hanging? Give me the image. Can I have the it? The image was inside you all along. Paul Dano. Maybe. A little bit. Not really. The mouth, yeah, though. Yeah, I think the eyes come down a little bit too much. The mouth, yeah. The the, the smug fucking grin. It's, I can kind of see it. Jazz Jen says, it's just Aang from Avatar, but with Naruto's hair. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> it is. Martin All Short. Right. Are you ready? Uh, are you ready for the one? I am. Hit the, me. The, 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 it, it is literally a monumental bootleg. Here you go. I see Martin Short, by the way. I do. This has to be from Jed's fucking island resort. It has to be. I, oh, it, it says Jed's resort. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Autobots is... transform and roll into my ass. <laughs> Fuck, that it's, thing is big. It's huge, and it's horrific. It's a monument to stupidity. <laughs> a literal, a literal fucking monument to bootlegs, though. It, it is. Yeah, it, it is all that. This represents all that bootlegging can achieve. Yep, Jed's resort. With the J for Jed. You know what this is? This is Jed just really rubbing it in everybody's face. How he could fucking bootleg their shit with total impunity. And fuck, just he's getting away with all of this and just fucking like, Yeah, yep. what are you gonna do about it? What are you gonna do about it? Who the fuck makes Transformers? <laughs> um, Hasbro? 
It's a uh, crit chance says it's like Gumby turned into a gun a Gundam. Gumdum. <laughs> it <is. laughs> it's Gumdum. It's a Gumdum. I love it. <laughs> oh god, it fucking is. It's exactly that. Gumdum. Oh, it's so good. Ooh. It looks like what is the material? It, it's like it's not paper mache. It's been there for too long. Is that is it? Is it's, plaster, it can't be concrete. Is plaster like plaster? Is it just, it's just plaster. I, I think is that's like paper mache though, isn't it? Like plaster of Paris. I was gonna say. Hmm. Which is like a really fragile thing. Stucco. Maybe? Yeah, it's, I think it's just stucco, dude. Oh, I... on the There's outside. There's no way. No, no, it looks, you can see, um... Fiberglass? It wouldn't be there after all this time, Lady Sonder. Would it? Like, if it would, like, can fiberglass get rained on and shit? Fred, can I ask you a question? Sure, what's up? What's going on with, like, the sky back there? Like, what, okay. like what's, like... <laughs> it's got, like, yeah, it's got, like, an airport back there. I don't... But... Like, I'm very confused about what I'm looking at. It's just for you to take pictures in front of it, I think. Uh, yeah, I think so. But, like, but if you're going to take a picture of it, you want to get the whole thing, Exactly, right? exactly. So, uh, like, so like, you don't want to be like, hi, I visited a Gundam's ankles. <laughs> exactly. Oh, my God, what? <laughs> oh, God, do you remember um, the big guy and Rusty? It was an old, like, cartoon sort of ripping off Astro Boy. No. It kind of feels like that. No, I don't know nothing like, about it. I don't know. It has, the I, sky I, is There's something like... about it. It's the sky. Yeah, it's like there's bootleg sky right next to Sky Original. What's up with the face, though? Again, like, a lot of really disturbing faces tonight. I, he's, I am very happy to be located at Jed's Island Resort. He's been programmed to say that, I think. I am very happy to be located at Jed's Island Resort. I'm not buying it. I am very happy to be located. <laughs> <laughs> Bootlegs are love. Bootlegs you are life. You know what he looks more like? He looks more like Mega Maid. Mega Maid from, from Spaceballs? Space from Spaceballs? Yes. <laughs> That's exactly what it is. That's what he looks like. Fucking dead on. That's where, like, the squarish sort of, like, legs and arms. That's what they remind me of. Yeah, that, that, <laughs> that's why he's got the O, o face. Yeah, that's, that's what Lamango's saying. He's been switched from suck to blow. Oh. Yes. <laughs> it's it's Mega Maid. Yeah. It's, I I was trying forever to figure out what it reminded me of, and it's Mega Maid. <laughs> oh, I love this. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> What do you think oh went, fucking... went through the minds of the poor schmucks who, that had to construct this thing? Oh, um, God. They, like, just got out of art school or something. I, I don't think they were thinking anything. I think they were just, like, thinking about the paycheck. Maybe one of them oh, was yeah. well, just thinking about, the, aware of the fact that whatever this is, the last thing it is is fucking legitimate in any way, shape, or form. Also, Luigi guy, back to the baby. Thank you so much, uh, Luigi guy, for the resub. Um... We're actually about to head off, guys. Unless you got anything else yep. you want to look at, Fred? Save the rest of them for next time. We'll do, like, Yeah, th those things. are the big ones that I really wanted to show you, I think. But, um... Guys, thank you so much for uh, for coming to hang out. Um, thank you for the, um... The bits, subs, resubs. Um, I think what's gonna happen now, actually, is... Um, I don't know if Fred's gonna, gonna join, but... I picked up that Toe Jam and Earl game... Uh... Earlier today... And Marissa asked if I wanted to maybe, like, do some multiplayer, like the co-op. It has a co-op. So, I was thinking about maybe heading over 
and seeing if she if she wanted to uh, have me on on her channel for like some co some co-op toe jam um fred of course if you you also had the game you said yeah I, I i picked it up and installed it if you're feeling it's, up it's ready and raring to go if you're feeling up to it too i'm sure she wouldn't uh she wouldn't mind um yeah i'd be down to join in uh but <laughs> so that might be happening just in, in in a little while here um oh she's playing with rev well there's it's four it's four players yeah four players yeah yeah um and yeah, we did. We did talk about this beforehand. I'm not about like I'm not trying. I'm not going over there and like crashing the party without. This was disgusting. So. <laughs> but um, that's it for us here tonight in the bootleg show. Fred, thank you so much for joining me. Yeah, dude. This this was a bunch of fun. Um, guys, if you're not familiar with me, there's gonna be links to all my my um social media stuff and my YouTube channels in in the, in the chat there. Um, as also if you're not familiar with uh with Fred, uh. His channel will also have a link in the, in the chat. Thank you, Sick Today. Good stuff. Oh, thank you. Where you can find all sorts of absolutely beautiful content. The word is beautiful. I'm going to use beautiful. Aww. It's beautiful. beautiful Next content. video is in the scripting phase, by the way. Do you want to give him a little taste of what you're working on this time? Or you'd rather be a surprise? No, um, I, I've I've straight out come out and said like what it's going to be about. And I've like hyper teased it. It's, it's going to be on an antiquated medieval instrument that is extremely unique and it's played by turning a crank it's called the hurdy-gurdy yes it is and it has fred actually beautiful... plays one of these things he got his hand on one of these things and he's learned how to play it i actually um i caved and got an uh a better one did you yeah i ca um it's it's actually um it's a 20 year old instrument that's being refurbished by the original makers oh, okay. and um they are refurbishing it then i'm gonna drive over you know a few hours and pick it up and Dude, i'm actually awesome. going to be demonstrating it in the video itself because you know i play it and i know a lot about it how cool is that i'm really looking forward dude. to it man the history um, is fucking wild dude so it's a middle ages a type of instrument like um it's yeah it started in the middle ages when did people like officially stop playing this thing? Um, technically, there has always been a playing tradition, but the, it's been confined to like a couple of very small places in France. Uh, Pay Beast calls it Box of Bees, the box of bees. full box I, of I'm, bees. <laughs> I tend not to play with the trompet very much, but which is the buzzing part. Fred. But yes, like the really good players go crazy with the trompet and it sounds like Box of Bees. Fred. Can you yes. play with my trumpet? Uh, I'm going to make you buzz. <laughs> All right. Thanks again, guys. And Fred, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much for uh, hanging out. Hope you had a good time, guys. I'll see you soon. Lots of love. Um, and yeah, uh, I'll, I'll host Marissa if, uh, if you know, you guys want to hop over there. I'm, I'm going to host her right now when I go offline. I'll see you all soon. <laughs> Give him a nice, stupid sound, Fred. <laughs>